Alright, how should I match Jinji? Let's tap it on in. Sick. Sick. Mm. Just gonna put my headphones on. Chillin. Yeah. Okay. No fan or water today. I think it's gotten cold metal. Oh, hello. Good to see you again. How are you doing? How'd you been much to you? Long time no see. I'm doing all right. I am going to get the event started after a couple of dailies. And have you seen the... I'm doing all right. Have you seen the new model yet? Okay. Checking mail real quick. So... Get sweet madons. I hide that for reasons. Okay. Nice thing is that Kirara is almost at friendship 10, so I'll be able to actually put Pyro in the party to get some Emily Moani synergy in for the friendship. Fair enough. But oh right. Do you have you built him yet? You like him? Apparently, people are saying maybe that Ororon might end up being a 5-star. That he's apparently Electro, which would be interesting. Oh, nice. What weapon do you have on him? Because I run him with Sacrificial. Okay, well, I want to actually take down this local legend because... I need whistles for Milani, and this is actually a good way to get whistles. Oh, Zephos! I wish I had Zephos, but I don't. Because it didn't have... I didn't roll on that weapon banner. Okay, I might be able to get her to 666 in her skills now, which would be nice. Mm, that would be 18. I need a little bit more. Ooh, mm hmm. It, whenever a new region comes out, that's always how things are. Just, you gotta get a bunch of mats from new enemies, because you have nowhere to get them before. Oh, fair enough. I, I managed to get the X-Acto Knife Sword, the, the only 4-star HP sword a little while ago. That was nice. Okay, actually, got enough to actually get her to 666, yeah. Kachina might need more, but... You didn't hear it here, but apparently Sheila and Anna also need uses the whistles. So I'm gonna want to keep farming this. I also got the second achievement when I was farming yesterday for Sappho, which I did not get on stream, which is the one where you don't get hit by the special attack where she shatters you after she freezes you. But I should have gotten that one before. It was just messing with me for some reason. Yeah, yeah! I'm excited for Keenich. I... He's gonna be interesting. I do have the right weapon. I got Earthshaker to R5, but I still need to farm a few more mats for it. But it's kind of refreshing to have someone who doesn't use Serpent Spawn, honestly. Just my take. Okay. Uh, but this, she is a very tough local legend. Honestly, it might be good to just try using Gina to throw her off if she can get crowd control. I know that a lot of local legends are actually does stuff that way, and oh, right, I put that back on. I put Sack back on Kaza, so shinchan has got Fab now. I don't want him to have Fab right now. Whatever, I, okay. Come on, hit and, can I, hit and, okay. Luckily, we're able to stop it from exploding, which is what I need for that achievement. Come on. Yeah, they, the not one ones are a real step up. The... There's one of them, Kosio the Turtle, is really just kind of a Milani check, because the entire deal with it is, it counts the number of hits you deal to it, so characters that deal small amounts of hits are much, much better, so the way you really want to run it, ideally, is honestly just someone like Dia combined with Milani, so you can get, oh, and we missed, that's really not good. So I'm like Dia combined with Milani so that you can vaporize every single hit. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. Good to see you again. How are things going? 
Okay, do not... Oh, and of course, not another cryo capsule. That's good. Oh, wow, we got the whole gang here. How's everyone doing? Come on, give me... Fabrock? You're not getting... Okay, now we get Fabrocks. Good, and... Can I... Come on, hit, hit, and... Wait, what? Huh? That was really stupid. Okay. The problem was just... I had the wrong weapon on Ching Chao. So I forgot that I'd cause a fat back. Yeah, it, it's exciting in here. Okay, we should heal up Hu Tao and give Xing Chao the right weapon back. I'm fighting the same Welkle Legend again, Sappho Amidst the Waves, which, for anyone who doesn't know, she's named after the most famous lesbian in history. Well, it's because I gotta put him back and forth between everyone. Uh, but, okay, that's good. As I was saying before, apparently, some week apparently, not when I saw, this is all third hand basically, that Ororon might be a five star probably, hopefully, which is interesting, as it was mentioned more or less in the context of just, kind of like with Fontaine, with a lot of story relevant characters like Chiori. Emily and Sigwin. Well, Sigwin's not story irrelevant, but she's kind of second string being made five stars. That a lot of characters who would otherwise be four stars, maybe probably, will maybe end up being five stars instead. Are you talking about yourself? Hey, that was a complete accident, and I was unsurprised for a bit, because Lenny is kind of mid a lot of the time, sadly, in terms of damage. Ouch. Wait, what? What are people... Who, who are you saying that to? Oh, oh. Okay. Well, not, not everyone knows. Not everyone knows. Okay. Hey, and, can, can, okay, good. She didn't throw away. Got her shield up. Come on. And, ooh, okay. Just make sure none of the capsules detonate. That's the goal right now. Okay. Uh, this team takes a lot of rotations. But just in general, how are people doing? How are people doing? And, okay. Grandma. And, is that a- it's not a capsule? There's no cryo capsule explosions, please. And we might have to- okay, let's use this, actually. There we go, we broke it. Good. Wait, what? Huh? Another? Oh! Well, from what I've heard, Crunchyroll is kind of falling off right now. Or in a number of ways, apparently. That's what I've been hearing. And can I... Okay, hit, hit, end. We need to make sure none of that happens. Well, Crunchyroll is not piracy. The entire thing with Crunchyroll is that it isn't piracy. Okay, and just make sure she stays relatively still. That's good. And okay, okay. So we're saying that in opposition to Crunchyroll. That's good. Okay, we're all we're all haters. We're all haters in here. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Oh wait. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, but she is an absolute sponge. I need to find a character who can. You can do more DPS with all high but it's not good as, as good at taking down the capsules, so... And we have a... This is a good team, too. She's just an absolute damage sponge. That's the thing. Can I, let's hit, and that killed! And we got the final achievement for Sappho, too. And those are some good drops. You know, it... Hard fight, but it was worth it. Pretty crazy amount of stuff for them. Now that three of the gold mats dropping is very, very nice. Okay. So, I'm done with fighting her for achievements, at least. Although I would still like to get her mats. And is that we do have enough to get Milani's skills all the six. Even though her normals are pointless. Yeah. It... I agree with that. I mean, in the end, I would say... It's generally better to pay for things whenever possible. But that said, yeah, whenever possible. 
Also, I'm not I don't think I noticed, but... Every... Yeah, they've got their specific dragon symbol for their Night Realms gift. Okay. Oh, and that quest is actually right there. Soaring versus Mountain. Totem, Totem Echoes Trouble Settlement, Present with Trouble by a certain matter, help Totem. Okay. So that daily is yesterday I got a daily where Alrani showed up again. Alrani is that one gal from Samaru who showed up in Liwei and then Inazuma. The one doing that thesis. And then went back in Samaru and met up with treasure hoarders. She showed up again here, which was amusing. Well, aren't they all? Okay, so this kid is talking to... Isn't this kid Children of Echoes, though? Don't be discouraged. Get well, keep trying. Made it to the mountaintop in no time. Quika, guru, guru. Hungry, want to get you something to eat. Oh, and we... it's rather cinematic. It is cute. Guru, guru, what are you up to? Buddy, chica. Kika, chica. Quika, still small. Equal of any other Yunka source when he grows up. Guru, guru. Be sad, but he's just too frail at the moment. You were injured previously to boot. Mom says, "Get better for sure. Just gotta eat well and train with me." Roo roo. Oh, we can pet Guru Guru. Like despicable me? Well, do look at the time. Got training coming up soon, so let's get eating. Mom made these dry fruits, right in the big pot, adding nice smelling condiments, right? Sprinkled sugar and petals. Tastes great. Just a moment, I'll give you some. Wait, where my dried fruits go? I'm sure I put it in my bag. Roo, whoa, chica, did you eat it all? Come on, I've told me not getting greedy. Gonna have trouble moving around for you too much. Roo, roo, roo. It's gonna have an appetite. Who eats more grows more? Oh. Roo, roo. It's that so. In that case, I want to be like chica. I want to eat a lot. Let's get bigger fast. Help mom out. All right, and then chica, let's get training. Roar, let's see. How about we practice mountain climbing today? Oh. Roar. Come on, keep your chin up. We'll do it just like last time. Won't be too hard at all. Roar. Right, Uncle Yawar told me last time that I'll have to find a reasonable training goal if we're going to train right now, but only could find a proper adventure and get them to help set some targets. Pretty decent as adventures go. Proper adventure, we say, looking further. Well, yeah, then, would you mind helping me? Need me to take him out and climbing? All right, then, follow. Let's get started. And in a way, if you're that good, so know what it will be able to give up for you. So what it will do is time you while you climb. All right, then, climb that mountain as fast as you can. We're counting on you, Yawaru. Yeah. climb to the top of the mountain. Keep all hands, time for you to appear, Yawaru. Okay. So we use Yunkasaur stuff. And that's real long. Okay, cool. Simple enough. Okay, cool. And... Oh, they can run up a little. That's fun. Yeah, that's where we're kind of supposed to go, though. Victory from the Flying Leaves, so... Is that a matter of doing it in a certain time period, or...? I didn't know they could run up... Well, slightly. And come down the mountain and return to Tlaten. Cool how we had a little panoramic view through that, too. Oh, you're awesome. I couldn't catch what you were doing at all. You've got to be even faster than Maita. I bet I did all right. I think he's Maita. It's a friend of mine who's real good at mountain climbing. I've in Big Sis Roka. Almost no one's as a match. I'm going to make Chico be able to match your time. No, it's way too fast. Roo roo. Guess I'll go show Maita your climbing time. Maybe he can come up with a more reasonable training plan for us. Anyway, thanks a lot for your help. You have these caca bottles. We picked them ourselves, so they're super fresh and make like super tasty chocolate. Aru-aru, in that case, what out now? I wonder if Maita's back at the settlement. He hasn't gotten it climbing again, has he? Alright. So. Where's the world? Reach the destination within the time limit. And. Got a couple more before the event. Another one here, also. Increasing danger. And. Slowing springs. Oh! Okay, so that's a score one, a Spirit Way Challenge. That'll be Milani. Milani's gameplay is and remains incredibly fun. Especially with surfing in not one proper. But it is a shame that it's not going to work as well outside of not one, but it's life, I suppose. Okay, cool, and he's just trying to get the one on top, and can we. Well, never mind. Gonna try to use. Oh, come on. Well, someone up there, or... Well, I guess we can use the bomb for that. It's fine. Come on, come on. It... Bad luck, that's what it is. And get a bit more. Consume the nice little points. And, oh, come on. Really, really? The fact that the shield can actually block those surprises me a little, frankly. Talent? Is it a burst, a normal, or an E-skill? Come on. 
Uh, we can use Nightsoul Transmission for this, though. Come on, and something up. Oh, well, ah, we barely timed out. A passive. And what is that passive then? Mm -hmm. Come on. Fight it. Well, we hit, but it wasn't a crit. Periodic self damage. Does that mean you're good with Marshall Say? Come on, come on. I Fight. Okay, that hit somehow. So many characters have ways to just get around the shields that I was surprised that she didn't, honestly. So my question right now is, what am I going to use my... What am I going to use my resin for today? Honestly, I would say probably... Again, I'm leveling Candace for Imaginarium Theater because she's in the lineup right now. She does have... Not level, but I do have Emblem Pieces for her. So we'll see how far that takes me. But you want that end of rotation is the thing. We hit the wrong guy. Okay, come on. And cycle. We'll hop off here. Come on. And not having any power in the park definitely hurts things, but it is what it is. It's still very fun gameplay. And we'll get that back. Come on. Consuming not soul points is crucial for her. And we cannot. Will this hit? Will this hit? And this did not hit anybody. That was actually really stupid. These gals are annoying too. Uh, okay. Two, three, five, one. Uh, so annoying there. Two, one, two, three. Or miss? Miss entirely. Fight, and one. Ah, uh, come on. I just... Can we block that? Can we block that at least? We got one of them, and... Can I... Fight! Ah, oh, we were so close. It's actually a really tough one to do. Okay, it... As long as it's entertaining, I suppose. Because the stupidity is happening one way or the other. But... I got to select a... Job schedule, or at least bid on a job schedule today. And I said, my time, I want to start somewhere between 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock, because you can't just choose 11 o'clock and go until 7.30 or so. That's basically what we've been doing for training, and that's what I've been scheduling around. But what I want, ideally, is to be able to schedule myself. Basically, work six days a week, but less time each, so I can do it. 7 p.m. EST instead, because that's better for pretty much everyone who watches. We'll see what happens. Beggars can't be choosers. Okay. Thank you. But it is interesting that, to be totally honest, in a lot of ways, the actual Kaholasaur is better at some of these challenges than Milani. Which... Is probably a good thing, given that one is free and the other you have to roll for, but still. Because that jumping challenge, Milani, her smaller hitbox made it harder for her to collect, her to collect the coins than the, Kosolo, than the Kaholasaur had, which was interesting. Because I brute forced it with Milani, which was harder, and I actually liked that a little. It required very, very precise positioning, but still. Okay, we got... 52 in total. You know, we beat it some time ago, but there's no reason not to go all the way. I wonder where that cube is. Sonic? Didn't know you were a Sonic fan. Not that there's anything wrong with that. So let's collect our stuff. But... I've been holding off on exploring stuff in the signs of the canopies area, because I really just want to wait for Keenage, which probably means... Waiting until next patch. Demos of... The only one I'd be able to think of would probably be... Didn't Sonic Generations on the 3DS have a demo? The thing with Sonic Generations on the 3DS is... It actually had... Well, now you've modded your 3DS. 
thing with Sonic Generations on the 3DS is that it's actually a very, very different game from Sonic Generations on console, which maybe isn't all that surprising. Okay, but Emily and Dio would actually work quite well, because Nikita actually doesn't have the right pace of application to really keep up here. Okay. This should be good. If all spells are just use the all-hyphen team. Oh, okay. Well, it... Sonic, Sonic is ultimately a single-player game. But still. I get it. Okay. Let's see how well this works. Come on, go ahead, apply that, and... Thank you! Hit, and one, two, three... Let me crit up. This is pretty good. Yep, bite, and oh yeah, we, we've done it! We've done it! And blast. Oh, we, we missed the crit. We're, we're, we're cooked. We're so cooked. Two, three, and bite, and... Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, ah. We were so close. Okay. It's okay. We love Italians. You have to you have to claim goblin rights or something. Okay, yeah, it that hurt. She really does need the skill levels for that. I'm gonna try that one more time because I missed some of that, which was bothersome, but still. Okay, whatever. One, two, three, and bite, and oh, two, three, bite. Yeah, I'm just not getting the crits I need. Well, there we go. Means another switch, but I think Moni still should hopefully be able to make this work. The issue is that I just barely missed the timing and ran out of points before the final bite last time, which was not ideal. Okay. Yeah, we only need to do this a couple more days in order to get Candace to max level for theater. At least a level where I can use her in theater. Because I might want to shift around my setup with... Shift around some artifacts so she can actually have a setup that works for her. That said, I don't have any Hydro Emblem sets or HP-focused Emblem sets. So that might be an issue. But it'll be interesting. There also are... All the off-element characters you can feel if you have them, which actually might not be all that good, given that they heavily buff the reactions using the three available elements. The point where you might not actually want things to be sort of that way, so to speak, because you can't use the buffed reactions then, and... Right? Yeah, this... This is real good, and... One final hit, and vaporize, and we did it! Nice. That said, she doesn't have her burst back for next rotation, because building that much ER is prohibitive. But the other thing is just, and people have remarked on this, oh, we got four this time. Kinich and Milani don't really have, well, I forgot to mark the artifact I got last time. Check real quick, because I am, yeah, I got to throw away some artifacts at least. Though, to be fair, what I probably should be doing is getting some of these to level 4 and then feeding them into the artifact printer to turn them into artifact juice. Probably. But, I'm glad at how unique they made Moani's playstyle. She feels very different. But, like I said, people have remarked that Kinich and Milani don't really have sort of set premium teams. And that's normal for being early in a region, but given that Mubuika may not be coming out, probably won't be coming out until 5.3, that's a long time coming. And there we go. 
Come on. Put that down. Cool. And oh, does that just a failed crit, or did she actually just not have enough and your G for Fab? I don't think she has enough for Fab. Oh well. And cannot please and well, alright. Yeah, oh right, she's got sack on her right now. Yeah, we want that. Okay. That was the problem. And oh, she also has the wrong set. Actually, that's pretty good. Because that's Zhongli's set. Her, she and Zhongli basically share a tenacity set. For me, it is what it is. We just need a little bit more Milani juice. Okay. Uh, uh. Thanks. Thank you. And there we are. We can get another couple of funny fights in here. And there we did it. Finally did it. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, I... To look at what I've got locked. Let me see. Can I sort by locked? Yeah, okay. Because there's no trash marker. You can't just mark things as trash. Hmm. So, let's, yeah, take that up. And we will start throwing these away. As little as it takes to get them to four. It's taking some artifact juices, but... And of course, you could always just go on artifact hunting runs for this too, but I don't feel like it. I don't feel like that. Because if you do artifact routes, you get that more easily, but it's just... They've started giving us so many more artifact juices that I really just don't feel like... I don't feel like that. <laughs> okay. Should be able to open this up now. We gotta switch back. Yeah. The silly team. One more run will do it. Okay. That... Eh, no, that's still not. It needs two crit. I, uh, that can stay for now. Okay. So who got another? She got a seven. Yeah, either tomorrow or the day after, Kirara should get to max friendship. Okay, so one more run with that funny team. And Dia, you are getting Fab Greatsword back. Back from Zinyan, yeah. Okay. One more, one more of them. Let's get in a little faster this way. Okay. Just a little. The cooldown is real, real low. It's nice. Okay. I could have gone all the way up, and I probably would have gotten it back by the end of rotation, but whatever. Okay. It's down. Going full in. Two and one, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. And go for another blast. And boom. Okay. There we go. What I like to see. If I got her to 999, I bet pretty reliably it'd be a kill. Without having to worry about. Without having to worry about. Getting a burst back or too many crits. Okay. But actually, can't I throw things right in the artifact printer from inventory? That's right, yeah. Okay, we're not defining anything, we're just getting rid of pieces. That... Now that's special. Oh, extraction limit reached for this cycle. 
So I can't even extract. Okay. You know, it does let you save up some, but not all that much. And we could keep a few trash artifacts, just very, very slightly leveled for this specific purpose. That's fine. Those is four levels, so you need 25 five-star artifacts at level four in total, which is the most efficient way to sort of get them down. Okay. And that's my resin for today. It's trash too. Okay. So there we have it. That said, I... I shouldn't really be focusing on defining artifacts right now. And now that I've got that trash there, it is what it is, but... I'm going to need pieces for Kinich when I get him. And if I'm silly about it, I'm not going to have the pieces that I want. So I should be more reasonable about this. So I got a good amount of artifact juices, but... We'll see what happens. I'm gonna need to farm that domain a bit more for him, too. <sighs> but at least we have a good amount of things for Candace. Yeah, yeah. About another day and a half should do it. I don't worry about artifacts. I think about artifacts. You might not be... Never mind. What's gonna give me gray hair is being mean to you for no reason. Okay. Quit this out just a little. Okay. Alright. Alright then. Okay, and... Close to max, but we should get a bunch from the event anyway. Sometimes I restrain myself. Sometimes I have a conscience. It's because of the pig drawing. Alright. Need to proceed. So it's over here that the quest is. We can teleport right to the Wild of the Totem Pole. What? Why? Why then? What could possibly prompt that? Okay, come on. Uh, so this is where... Oh, and it auto-started. It's its own special icon color. Emix, Apprentice Mahru's Gem Porium. She's not back yet. Red have to master Shaven. Hey, that little kid is crying. Wonder what happened. What? I liked it! Let's go check what's wrong. Okay. Hello, is something the matter? Sobs, Master Shaven, and she. Choice, she saw. She went to gather volcanic crystals, but she's still not back yet. They are! Told the guards, but they said they don't have people to spare, plus that they were super dangerous with tons of monsters and bad guys. They finished making preparations before they can try to rescue her, but it'll be too late by then. We're going to look for her, gets the time for more heroics. So to help, great, I'll just make a quick sketch to show you where the guards went earlier. All right. Come on. Ha. So is it just gonna give us a quest marker, or are we gonna get a little pickup? Who knows? Said Master Shaven might have stopped around here. Oh. She might have been forced to go near the Shadow Pit. If that's the case, then Snickles. Me when I stay Snickles. Please, you have to save her, Onich Nichan Onegai. Prayer for blessings to the Crested Peaks Act 1, Tepidly Dissonance. Oh, that was not... Okay. That was not the event. Never mind. I... I'm waiting. I'm gonna do that next patch when she one in comes out, because that leads into hers, basically. Maybe, probably. Dance event, we just palm on and up, eat the stage, or from not one unique views, notice the budding down, you unpalm and possess. It's your focus experience mode. Okay. 
And what is that going to walk away? Not that. Okay. Let's actually go back to the wild real quick. See what the quests are like here. Straight sound echoes across the ridgeline's edge. Choir's level one. Hmm. Okay. Well, what was you in Keenich and... I already did Milani's full story quest chain. I'll be doing Keenich's when his comes out, which will unlock his tribe stuff. That's all right. So the dance party is going to be down here. This looks like a roller skating, a roller skateboarding half pipe, skateboarding half pipe. Might be a little more angled though. Ah. All right. Come on. Wow. As it turns out, the children back at sure can dance. Papa never thought the human body could perform the motions they done on stage. Thank you. Who's 17? The rhythmic music, the exciting fireworks, all that combined brings a totally different vibe from anything we've seen thus far. Said Radiant Sir and your wild warbling floating doll, too. Floating doll. Sharp senses and distinguished, too. Yes, I'm sure you have what it takes to be the vanguard of avant garde and a rising star amongst graffiti artists. You don't remember ABBA? Okay, you're not you're not even actually European then. Dopey Dazzler, so how about it? Wanna join me, the Dopey Dazzler? That's from the latest and greatest and trendy artistic thought. You know, maybe I will. Let's see something. I'm still trying to figure out how best to make my camera work. I honestly feel as if I should find a way to just mount it below my head to get a better view for the sake of tracking. But I wonder what I would try clipping it on then. I feel like if I wanted to do that, I'd be better off just getting a better camera to begin with. Some other kind of stand. Dom, Dom would get mad at you for not prioritizing ABBA. Wow, here comes another person with that odd nickname. Well, you do really wow a lot. You're not being the wow warbler allegations. Don't even try changing the subject. This isn't about the wow factor or a silly nickname. Important part is what this girl was talking about. Avant-garde thought is that the key to Mountain's artistic uniqueness. He's always here in spirit. There we go, very perceptive. As you can see, the vibrant dances, the frenetic music, the vivid graffiti. Oh, this is deep connections to the avant-garde. Fashions, trends, novelty, to us, these are synonyms of avant-garde. Thank you. If it ever happens again. It's for me, the Dopey Dazzler, main state of the Graffiti Alliance. I'm trying to encourage a greater understanding of such forward thinking. It's not one than the world. The way art will constantly evolve and works of extraordinary aesthetic value may be produced. But for upwards and on for large-scale graffiti work. Seems a bit abstract. A more specific example then, see the large work of graffiti in the stage backdrop. I was involved in drawing that. That backdrop is a realistic landscape painting, a fine oil painting from Fontaine, or a mural from Samaro. Hmm. Do you think it would still fit? Uh, okay, that's pretty straightforward. Palman gets it now. So the backdrop's patterns and colors weren't as explosive and feel as energetic. Of course, I wouldn't claim that landscape oil or wall paintings are bad, but need to emphasize vivid tension and burning soul. There's nothing quite like graffiti. Best me, every tribe here in Nalan has the impulse to strive after a higher desire to pursue strength. That's why avant garde is our primary style. Now you call yourself dopey, but you're pretty knowledgeable, aren't you? If you're going to take us on students, what's your hourly rate? Hello, an old hand at the sun dance, Arlene. Don't worry, I'm not too fussed about all that master student stuff, and I don't care about fortune or fame either. What we do here is share our experiences in the hope that they will bloom and bear fruit everywhere. As long as you can grasp the essence of avant garde and create the inspired works of graffiti required, I'll be satisfied. In fact, I've been cough up as much more in materials that could help you grow into a graffiti master. And then you can help me with sketches. Me sketches? Hmm, is that how you get your hands on new assistants? You can also help me promote this art elsewhere and attract more talents into our alliance. After all, our goal is to create unparalleled avant-garde work on every mountain. Currently, though, we number just over 10 people. Oh, she's got a little spray can, and that's just not going to hack it. My back and waist sigh. If I had to carry dines and paints all day, my bones would be left crooked. My shoulders and thighs a mess too, no doubt. I was going to say that there seemed to be something fishy about all this. But since you're being so honest, I guess there can't be anything too off here. 
You know, travel art and graffiti art doesn't sound too bad. We could probably draw something marker territory and scout monsters and baddies. Yes, it's the spirit in that case. Let's get to it. Now our work isn't too strict about painting skills. It's all about the mindset. Let's so begin, therefore, by taking the measure of avant-garde. The measure being the principles. Close enough. In short, we need to find the inspiration, break out of our constraints, and express ourselves freely. Once you've done this, you'll be able to seize upon the scenery even amidst a speedrun challenge. Discover the limits of human movement in the midst of close-quarter combat, just as I do. That way, you'll discover the exaggerated line work you need for graffiti. As for color schemes, make use of combinations found in the natural world. Surprise how many surprises it has in store. Sounds familiar, but there's something a bit off. Observing lines of motion while racing and fighting, collecting materials, and studying colors. I like fighting. These methods of studying aesthetics really are kind of different. I guess that's not one for you. Anyway, take this guidebook and this camera and go forth, wrote not one. Might as well. Enjoy the unique sights and sounds while you learn, huh? Once you're back, I'll use what you've seen and heard to help come up with an avant garde philosophy you can best understand. No? Oh! What is this, Splatoon? Okay. Kachina? Kinich? Well, he won't be playable until this event's over. Milani, Inspiration Collection Progress. Traces of Artistry. Hmm. It was. Word preview of aspects of vivid. Collection progress. Inspiration for graffiti at Fulton Dopey Downs for suggestion. Gather from various sightseeing spots across not one. When you calm your mind and focus on the act of observing things, you find that you are more able to gain a more thorough understanding of their shapes and colors, which proves greatly beneficial in creating graffiti. The use and walk all sorts of mature rewards during the traces of artistry effect. Event. Poising extremes. Challenge destroy the shield to make it fall. So let's intrinsic nature flow of lines. Okay, so each one has viewpoints, statues, gathering related specialties, and pictures. Flow current birds. Huh, and multiple challenges. Okay. Huh. This long necked rhino. Well, challenge rewards, shortest route, Tecumacon Valley, the shortest route from Samara, the shortest route to Nalan State in the Sacred Flame, pass through this area. This magnificent rift valley makes the scenery here uniquely spectacular. So it's intrinsic nature. Challenge. Oh, that's the movement challenge. Okay. So Shokichina next to the Saurian. But, to my knowledge, Graffiti Camera, Graffiti Alliance Camera, provided by Adobe Dazzler, functionally isn't much different from a standard camera. However, it's set that can capture record specific scenes and objects serving as a repository for inspiration, source material, for graffiti artists. Okay. So. Search for inspiration, right? What do you have to say right now? Oh, hello, my rising graffiti stars. Anything else you'd like to know? If there's nothing else, get ready to head out. I'll be out for a walk through the wilds myself. Gotta look for good cliff sides I haven't painted yet. Why don't you be slower than me now? Tell me about graffiti as an art storm. What's on the over not letting crazy colors on houses, trees, mountains, even on people? It seems to be a custom here, so when did it start? Oh, it's just here some graffiti history. Oh, you good, good. Techniques to ordinary people now master or generalized forms of focus and engravings. Might have heard of the process itself, where professional inscribers use blades to carve such engravings for mighty tribal warriors. The tribe is an engraving unique to them, and they are immensely useful, whether for communicating with sworn companions or in battle. Yeah, that does ring a bell, so that's what it's called. It's an ordinary body of symbols. Due to first normal folks, these symbols are marks of courage, ability, and honor, and nothing more avant garde than these, if you ask me. That's why many imitate the inscribers and spray similar patterns in various locations. Of course, their mighty champions were pretty mundane by comparison, so our works don't serve much purpose beyond expressing our emotions. Over time, the artistic content expanded from those patterns into all manner of different expressions, growing increasingly free spirit, eventually evolving into its modern form. Symbols of the strong, huh? That kind of makes sense. Who'd have found graffiti? It's a long history. You now we can pick a few large buildings and the surrounded teapot and cover their walls in huge pictures of all the formidable people we've met during our journey. Oh, okay. Uh huh, let's start with that bar. That would work. Why don't we draw a bunch of kittens nearby, too? Draw on, draw them all even. Once your skills mature, you can showcase all the commands and objects you want, no problem. Before that, you need to understand the core philosophy behind graffiti, and you need practice, of course, but just you wait with quick learners and then some. 
Okay. But you have this won't this event will conclude before Keenan's is even available. It a couple days before that banner starts too. I'm gonna see what the other dialogue options for the other characters are. Come on. Uh, oh goodness. Forcing me to take some time. So about Li Wei. Okay. Our well-traveled, knowledgeable consultant Zhang Li would make the perfect candidate too. Yeah, yeah, just thought of it. It's Pimonides, but would Tubby ever dare take a nap again? Draw and draw all. It. I wish we would be able to just skip right to that because it's fun seeing the dog that they got for everyone there. Uh, I feel like some kind of record keeper. Eh. Although I should probably put Dia in it instead of Diluc, honestly. Given that... <sighs> Milani's strong enough that I can actually use her for DPS now. How about a statue of her excellency, the god of thunder, riding? Should we paint her in a more majestic pose? Maybe raise a couple of finches? Right, because of the bird that shows up in one of her idols. Is and the bird that Yai eats during her idol. I remember years ago someone managed to make their idols sync up. So it looked like Yai was having eating Raiden's bird. Okay. Ordinary bodily symbols. Okay. There was another one too. Let's say you to Maha Kusawa Dama, the blessed one of wisdom Nahida. She decorate the realm within with some extra pretty flowers and plants then. Okay. So, the one with Fiorina, then. Avant-garde artistic thought. Hmm. Okay, come on. No ordinary body of symbols. Come on, come on. Those are the strong. Perhaps Fontaine's number one star might be a good pick. Great idea, we need a super gorgeous open air stage to go with it. Maybe some pretty lighting, too. Huh. Okay. So, in that case. So, about avant garde artistic thought. You always have lots to say about avant garde. The idea of a teacher who particularly emphasized that. I'm on guesses that you never left not on the floor. So, are there schools here that specialize in teaching art? School never been anywhere like that. I'm speaking from experience here. Come on, the books I've read that adventures brought in from beyond our lands. Of course, it took me a long time while to figure it out. If anything, I'm the one teaching others. No, it just so happens that I plan on leaving a training era. If the graffiti wants a headquarters, if I manage to help you uncover your talent, I might as well handle any newcomers in the future, too. Headquarters, Pamela thought your alliance also existed as a sort of identity, you know, like genius indication TCG players. But we do have the lofty ambition of matching the adventurers. Guilds are hunting a headquarters is a must, even if that means a bit of fundraising. Current plans have us finishing in short order, so if you get the chance, you drop by and hang out with us. Hmm. Graffiti stores. About your name, Palmont's being the main asset too, is Dopey Daz, what your real name? It's graffiti artists, our real names aren't anywhere here, and as important as our titles. Mine comes from a very, very, very awesome friend. She said I have an uncanny ability to discover dazzling color combos, and others say that I get all dopey when blending paints. So I combine the two, and the rest is history. We haven't much had much opportunity to hang out since we first met, but that title has been a massive inspiration to me. Maybe inspired by an awesome friend, because it makes sense, but as for the word dopey, yeah, I guess avant garde doesn't involve being too concerned about the meaning of the individual words. Okay. And we'll continue our studies. Yep, we'll continue our search for inspiration, just as if you taught us. But on, don't forget to use both your heart and your head, let your imagination run wild. Alright, so we can get this started. Actually, do the darn thing. Magnificent Rafali makes the scenery here uniquely spectacular. Photograph a long necked rhino. Beast with a massive body and a particularly long slender neck is like a walking tree and found only in that one. If you're welcome to depict a gigantic and visually intimidating creature, the long necked rhino would clearly be an excellent place to start. It's right over there. Glide over. Okay. 
So what's intrinsic nature? Oh, but it's a spirit way then. Hmm. The flow's true form challenges within children in Echo's territory. You must collect as many challenge coins and orbs of inspiration as possible within a time limit to increase your challenge rating and obtain better rewards. When you have indulged a Tethetly source, you can drill on the ground. Drill on the ground expect for guests to move in all directions. While drilling, you can perform brief high speed forward leaps. Additionally, Tethetly source can climb salt for guests and collect challenge coins on cliff phases. These high speed leaps to break hard objects and collect the challenge coins hidden within. Yumkasaurus can use their tongues. Yumkasaurus can use its tongue to wrap around heavy objects or sigils, point itself over to them to quickly get past obstacles when consuming for Gistin, and can also briefly continuously move in midair using this method. Nissir can also aim precisely at target points to quickly collect large numbers of challenge coins. Collecting purple orbs of inspiration as they emerge will subtract a fixed amount of points, while collecting orange ones as they appear will grant a fixed amount instead. Such need to watch your timing while in motion. Additionally, collecting orbs of technique will greatly expand the range of challenge coin collection, so make good use of their special abilities. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well. Tepewi Sorcerer used Kachina. It's gonna be interesting, because presumably they'll say use Kinich, who just is not an option. It's not going to be playable within time frame, though maybe that might suggest that they originally planned on having both of them available at once, maybe. Okay. So, we will switch the artifacts back around, give you that tenacity set. That is fine. Come on, come on. Her crit rate is decent because the entire goal is triggering Fav Greatsword. It's it. 61.8. Okay, let's see what actions these rhinos can use. During the photo taking camp challenges of in other aspects of vivid, you must use the graffiti camera to take pictures of the designated targets to obtain graffiti inspiration. Frame already contains a target. Information regarding will be displayed. Adjust your photo taking distance and lens zoom. Take these photos with greater ease and efficiency. During the challenges, you need to take pictures of the target in specific states, such as recording different behaviors and animals exhibit. Go to the recommended spot to look for said target animals, as this may provide a more efficient approach. One well, Nick Ryan seemed to have been spotted in this area. Presumably, one is while they're stomping. I. Wrong one. Wrong button. Okay, standing leisurely, it's good enough. So the other one would have to be stomping. The best way to do that is to hit them. Oh well. And is that... Are you gonna stomp? Or... Shaking head. Well, that's nice. Uh-huh. But I bet I could make it stomp if I hit it enough. Okay, there we are. Cool. And... Uh, maybe if... If I put Kachina down here and... I want to hide it a little, but I could probably... Get some stomps going if I use this to... Aggravate it. And can I... Looking around... You know, can't see the head. It's funnier that way. I could not make it stop him. Oh well. You point children of echoes a trine that dwells within the canyon suit to drill shaped objects and vibrant stages to the hallmarks of the children of echoes. When it comes to color, the sense that you'll encounter on a stroll through their domain will provide a nearly endless source of inspiration. Photograph Tepitlasaur Whelp, a soaring with a drill like horn and strong claws that can tunnel through rocks and salt for guessing. Many young Tepetwisaurus have lively, energetic personalities, and as such make great companions for the children of Echoes. Their form consists of a mix of strong curves and rocky angles, making them worthy subjects for close observation. Okay. It's over there. We'll take a couple of cute little pictures. Different poses. Specifically the whelps. So one of them is... drawing. Or... 
Walking around. Oh well. Oh, they're falling. Family. That's cute. Here we are. Oh, and it saved the level too. That's funny. And that. Digging. Well, that's fun. And that. Efficient photos. Resting. Alright. Next one is going to be. Harvestable, soaring plus succulent. We got those. Succulent shaped like the paw of a great animal. It is said that there was a time when the plants that grew here could shapeshift at will, almost as if they were some kind of enigmatic dragon. Some would appear poisonous or dangerous in other ways to avoid eating eaten by one. Herbivores, the dramatic line work exhibited in the form of these plants is full of tension. Punch flow. Okay. This parts of this challenge done. Phase one, phase two, and then the Kukasaur. The intensity of the battle warriors and extend and contract their bodies to the very limit in order to unleash maximal power. Explosive tension in such dynamics is also a key element that can be observed and analyzed in certain works of graffiti. Thus, if one personally joins the fray, they will almost certainly be able to capture superlative critical dynamic moments themselves. Okay, well, I need to get that teleport waypoint at some point eventually, so we'll be chilling. Think. Move back around here. Can just have Milani stand on the water a little. Okay, not like that. And that's all, Kachina. Thank you. Get back up and thank you. Cool. And that's good enough. But that teleport waypoint will help me get. Closer when I want to be. And the fight is right over there. Okay. Thank you. Let's not get stuck. And it. Yep, it's nearby. Some fluorescent is going down. But that is okay. And. Oh, it's Avatars of Lava. Okay. Blazing extreme challenges, you must head to multiple arenas one by one and defeat all opponents there. Each time you defeat all foes in a given wave, wind currents will be produced to better help you collect your loot. That's fun. Okay, well. So, way to do this then is put down this and, oh goodness, please. And Kachina for that. And, oh well, I. Did not mean to do that. That's whatever. Two, three, and bite. Keep that burning up, and oh well, up. Two, and oh, that was badly done. Luckily, got full guess in there, but still. Oh, and guess who's still going? You. Can I blast a little? That's pretty good, but. Yeah, there were some issues there. I, okay, well, I did not mean to do it like that. Whatever. Come on, we got a bonus from some of this, but we'll be okay. Send that back, and fight. Oh, fight. Something is going silly. Well, that should do it. That'll do it. Okay. I need more for guessing. But, good amount of rewards from that. Cool. Those flaming rocks are needed for Hinich's weapon, among other things. Challenge starts, and that. It's the same. Okay. Oh, six opponents. We will do that. It's down, and. I. That did work, actually. Okay, cool. So now we get in here, take advantage of the boost we've received. There we go. Fight and one more. Ooh, a Y of Manifestation. Now he's not expecting that by any means. And, well, that did not manage to vaporize, but it was a good hit dealt anyway. Okay. And only the sh Shattered and Clear Will. It's a new Y of Mat. For me, but no weapon I want to level right now uses them. 
Jade idol that houses, it's that it's Jade, houses a wild manifestation, can roughly make up the form of an idol figurine, has a greater capacity for channeling the wild's will and power. Fragment that houses a wild manifestation, it is a broken shard. The Shattered Stone Idol, its capacity for channeling the wild's will and power is also extremely limited. Let's see, well, pieces of jade, this is entirely jade. Okay. About why I'm that quick. Final one over here. And then, of course, you go to the Kuka source. So my question is, the one that doesn't fight a boss, I'm wondering what its final challenge is going to be. Oh, we got Secret Source. Okay, cool. Thank you. Put that down. Okay, I did not intend to do that. That is whatever, I guess. Come on. Go down there and... Blast that and Milani to bite. One, two, three, bite. One, two, oh, three, and. Okay, well, that kinda works. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, and. Oh, please. Oh, not good. You need a bit of food. Let's give you that food. Don't die, Milani. Thank you. And... Mm, and down. And one, two, and... Well, alright. Just trying to do the not-so-transmission. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And... Bite. Well, okay. Come on. Bite again, and... Mm, bite, and... This might work. And... There we are. Okay. The whole thing is now the Kukasaur. Got some secret source materials. Cool. Okay. Do you have a bit of pyro in them? Okay, nothing new there, but the final one is going to be the tyrant. Okay. It's interesting that it basically leads you into the arena. So it's also a decent way to sort of find the entrance to the arena then. So let me just sort of poke around until it goes into a chiller mode then. That's fine. Okay. Bit of forgiving. And like I've said before, this specific boss is actually in the War of the Bait Club. is one of the old Saurian companions. Some of the heroes. Okay. Alright. It's here to break the shield, so we're staying away. I'm more of a scarlet red tinge. It's interesting. And also, frankly, a bit of animal green. These colors are a little different. Whatever. And when are you gonna take the sky? That's what we need. Got a bit of black smoke to it, too. Well, whatever. And. Dodge. Cool. And. There we are. We need to break the shield. Make a fall. Dodge. Dodge. And. Dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. And. One. Two. Three. And. Bite. Perfect. Application is not all that good. Thanks. Well, alright. We can keep on. Ooh, well. You need healing badly. Okay. And. Swing your shield. Is one big thing. Okay, cool. Thanks. I. She can't take the sky and replenish your shield. Oh, please. Come on. Thanks. Uh, oh, well, it didn't hit. Okay, then. What that means is, if I want to make that work, I need another team. One that focuses entirely on Hydro Application. Okay. Well, that actually isn't too complicated. We have ways to do that. Okay. Yeah. We'll just stall until going to the sky and 
Fiorina will be able to hit mid-air or tyrant without too much trouble. That is not something I imagine will be a huge issue. Hmm. Oh well. Oh well there. And of course this team may also kill this thing in about 10 seconds, but it's not what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, come on. Please. Wait until we want you in the air, and then go in the air. Probably need new vets. Burst for some of this, but that range is surprisingly high. Okay. Huh. So, we will simply heal up to full. Okay. Go ahead. Yep, there we go. And dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. And, alright. And we will blast you. And there we go. Oh, we got an achievement for that too. Saurian hunting black arrow. Black arrow. Huh. Destroying its shield. So its intrinsic nature. We can go now. For those that swiftly traverse the Fulgissant Woven Spirit Way, speed becomes a crucial variable, causing all they behold to appear differently. Not only must they follow the racing lines that flow like water, must also want to discern the true appearance of things, and at the same time, seek inspiration for the tension between extreme curves and straightaways. Well, no need to be here right now. Thank you. We'll heal up a little and new achievement. Destroy the gold flint and on elemental shield. What was in a gold flame state to make it fall out of the sky? What is interesting is that its smaller form might be sort of rough reflection of what it originally looked like, maybe. Maybe. And yep, Kachina or this. There we go. Kachina. To build a source for Kachina, we recommend to deploy Yumka Source for the Companion in the challenge. Well, you can't use Keenich right now, can you? Gold is seen for Gisden. Prize rocks, be forth challenge coins forth at intervals. Some that you've tested your ones, collect these score points. Increase challenge coin collection AoE. Solid for Gisden formations that contain challenge coins. Destroy them, collect the challenge coins within score points. Once you collect purple orbs, challenges will contain orbs. Transform the orange ones, collect these to score points. Okay. Cool. So it's like this. And here we are. We will try our best. Enter. Oh, we got that. Focus in. I. Interesting. Let's retry that. Just want to see if we can jump out midway, and it did a lot of us. Let's do that real quick then. Okay. All right. You then. So Kachina wants five lands. Okay. I'm gonna collect everything. Not a time limit, it's just the number of things I got, and draw a Yumka source to carry out the challenge. Fine by me. Okay, we got that and up to there. And perfect. I oh well. Huh. Well, oh well, we'll try that again. Thought I would have to glide down or something, I did not. I want to max out my score. I want a perfect score. It's perfect collection. Okay. Given that Shiwen ends next match, I wonder how much better Shiwen end would be. It's whatever. I wonder if time will be connected at all. Okay. Grab. And I. What? Never. Never mind. And. Grab. Perfect. Perfect. And. We're gonna disperse so we can run, actually. And I. Oh, well, never mind. I like that. 
And you can't do any running, can you? Oh, let's find out. Okay, well. Uh. This is actually a little awkward. Okay. Oh, well. Guess he needs to charge that back up. Kachina. Okay. Charge that. Well, she could use transmission, but whatever. Okay, cool. This is more than good. And is that perfect? Or what is this? Collect intermittently sprays out, which I don't imagine that they'll disappear, but that should be all. And oh, it kept going. Collected every single object and got a maximum score. Fun. Don't fall off, please. So we need one more challenge here. Got that. SS, Float of Lines. For those who swiftly traverse, we get some Spirit Spiritway, and that's the same? Huh, it's just talking about Spirit Ways? Or. Huh. Is it this one? Arc length and angle. Flow of lines, intrinsic nature. Okay. Alright. Actually, getting out through here might be this way out, actually. But, oh, it was a more rock. Okay. It's down there, but we wanted to use this to get back and a couple of silly berries. That's fine. Okay. Climb up over here, but a Yunkasaurus could probably get up here better, but who's counting? Not me. Okay. For guessing might be a limiting factor, but that's, again, whatever. Far up, anything up there that I need to look for, or... What was this? This is not the top level, then. Okay. Sheena. And... Not, uh, here, or... How much higher up? Whatever. I'll live. Uh -huh. Well, no switch right now. Where was the way out then? Now I'm getting all turned around. Come on. And just like that, we'll go up a little farther and higher and... Getting confused in here. And that, not there. Not there, but... Oh, come on. Got to be. This, this is it. Okay. I... I made that a lot harder for myself than it had to have been. Okay, thank you. Come on. Said if I... This dear, I can use that to get some Vulgison back. Yep, okay. That was... Wise. Okay. There should be. Well, of course, I could use Keen to grapple up or a Yunkasaurus, but. Now those are possessed at the exact moment. Okay. Let's go in here and start that challenge. Is that. Why is Kachina just standing there? Hello? Hi? Oh, wow. Huh, Kachina, is that you? Traveler Palmon, well, I sure didn't expect to see you here. Considering your skills, you must be here on some crazy commission. Something to do with that spirit way over there, maybe. Present commission is pretty awesome. The answer to a bit abstract, but it's interesting all the same. Speaking of which, the person commissioned you was also in the Children of Echoes. Maybe you know each other. Describe your encounter with Dopey Dazzler, who views on graffiti, and your invitation for you to study avant garde thought. Well, the Dopey Dazzler could call his friends, uh huh. She doesn't look like a big deal, quite like me, in fact, but if you get her talking, she wouldn't go on forever if you can't. If you hang out with her a bit more, you might see a different side to that one, I guess. So you become friends, I'll shoot invite you to draw graffiti with her as well. Graffiti is one of the reasons we're friends, but I guess it's better to say that it was a happy coincidence. That was a long time ago. I was buying fruit at the stadium with a sacred flame with my parents. There she was, sitting at the paint shop entrance, watching as I can't wanted paints. She would sit there for half a day almost, not moving muscles, though she could see something special in all those different colors. She was so focused at that moment, it was like she couldn't care less about anything except the paints, so I thought she wouldn't notice me. Only for her to notice the color of my clothes as I passed and start chatting with me out about her favorite colors. It's like she'd become a different person. But her clothes are pretty unique, seems like the Adobe Dazzler's got a good eye for this kind of thing. 
Find balance between the vitality, simplicity, and innocence like almost like the cult with some delicious food. You know, like coffee lemon cake with mint, and this analogy is making Paimon hungry, but now you mention it. It sounds like the old dopey dazzler was quite different from the person we met. Guess she was less good at making friends back then. She might have just just have been like, oh, I was kind of bad at dealing with people. I mean, everyone's busy training for battle and practicing their dancing. By contrast, someone who focuses on painting might find it hard to make friends. Hmm. Still, I find people of their own goals and work hard at them super cool. As I watch her study colors and graffiti so intently, I have the feeling that she'd stick to her goal and follow it to the end. Not all that different from a hero of legend, really. Perhaps the lack of recognition from others means that the more serious she gets, the better she'll be in the future. Kind of, maybe the details are important. You're absolutely right, Kachina. After I met Dopey Dazzler, she invited me to do graffiti together with her, but don't get me wrong, I love those pretty patterns. I just don't think I have the talent to come up with anything interesting. She said it was all right, though. Said that her graffiti would record her tribe's famous warriors, and that if I couldn't draw anything good, I could at least become a good drawer. And when the time comes, let me, a graffiti artist famed across that one, be the one to draw a picture of Kachina, the famous warrior. And boy, did she look dazzling when she was talking about that. I'd sometimes serve as her audience when she worked on her graffiti. I gave her all the ideas I could. I'd tell her all about the amazing things I've seen while riding turbo twirly up on the clifftops. I haven't really hung out with her that many times, but just seeing her, her so hard at work makes me want to work harder, too. I've heard that she received inspiration from someone and has become more talkative as a result, <coughs> even joining some sort of grand graffiti gang a few years back. It's right that the dopey dancers become a real big shot in graffiti once, will become a hero here and not one, moving up in life, you two. Promise you made will come true for sure. Cute. Thank you, I'm no stop will me. I'm not going to cry, I'm just getting a bit emotional. Just glad to know that the Dopey Dazzler's been working hard on her own field and this has been a tough road for her. I suppose I could call myself a qualified warrior nowadays, but I'm not sure famous is a fitting description. I would love to have a chat with her the next time we meet. <clears throat> that's right, we're all gonna do our best. Yep, that's right, I'll keep forging ahead, and if you don't mind, I can send you studying under you once you finish your work with the Dopey Dazzler. And Kachina has taken her leave. And right, that's the one that gives up the crabs and eventually the treasure, but no more treasure this time. So I bet we source her Kachina. <coughs> and Yunkasaurus. Hmm. <coughs> Should have put Kinichu out and first half of the patch too. Eh, whatever. <clears throat> okay. Challenge commences. Collect challenge ops to score more points. But they all... Could use Moani, I suppose, but... Honestly, it's more fun this way. Eh. Once we're sort of supposed to try. Eh. This is one where we're really, really climbing up. Oh, and... Can we catch up? Well, we don't need to catch up. We just need to... Find it. Susume, susume. Ends. Oh, and here, but a tap at source would be a bit wider, and therefore, we get into it a little better. Hey, Mkasaurus. <coughs> and we keep on grabbing. And we got that there. We got some sigils underneath, too. And let's hop out. And thank you. Dash over with Kachina. Thank you. Go inside there. That fissure. Increase our AoE. Look that down. Nice. Lock those. That, well, we're just going up the graffiti line now. It's not much. And it just did all the work for me. Okay. Well, mostly. Okay, and pull this. That will blow it up. Nice. Collect the rest, and... We don't need every single one for an SS ranking, actually, but we did collect everything. Cool. So next would be Signs of the Canopy. Capybara. These herbivores, which often dwell close to the water, are famous for their steely, stoic, won't even twitch if lightning strikes next to their toes disposition. Tourists consider them to be the paragon of animal friends due to the capybara's unique temperament. They are often chosen as subjects by those seeking to depict still animals. Take photos of copy bearers doing two different actions. Hmm. Go to the challenge and find that copy bearer. The ancestral temple, well, I guess that is a sign to activate a few more teleport waypoints. 
So, got some sigils down there. Going with a platform, even. That got a platform, too. And to get over there is another question. I'm gonna use this to keep on flying. Okay, I think I only do that two times. So, to get up there, then. Okay, come on. That took a bit of finagling, but at least I can vault a little. Let's get that rock. Okay, that teleport waypoint, and then. Copy barrels are over there, but we've also got another point down that way. I'm wondering how easy it will be, easily it will be able to reach at this precise moment. Let's see what happens. So. Come on. Copy barrels are down there. I guess we'll wait a little and. Copy barrels seem to have been spotted in this area. Miss Copy Barrier. Okay. Pick that up and spit it out just for fun. Boom! Okay. Time to take some silly little pictures. Hello, hello. And not one animal. Copy Barrier swimming in the water. Cute. And with their level there, too. And that's lying on the ground. As the copy bearer does. Oh, I didn't save that one. Well, whatever. I won't die. Search for inspiration. A soaring with powerful hind legs and a fluffy tail, capable of spitting flame granite pectin hidden their cheek patches out, wrapping on distant objects. When they're enjoying their free time, the vast majority of juvenile yunkasaurs are obedient and sweet natured, making them ideal neighbors and companions for the sounds of the canopy. Their distinctive greenish hue is well worth close observation. It's over that way, so we can use that to get this waypoint, which I'd like to do anyway. Okay. It's a number of commissions have actually shown up around there. But I didn't want to unlock a teleport waypoint off stream off stream, so. Okay, right down in here. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. Go down this way and for a plunge, take this one out. I mean, activate this one. And the Yumkus were welts are down there. So, what are they doing? Columns seem to be playing. Not standing leisurely, resting. That one is. Resting, standing leisurely. Gotta change our centerpiece a little then. Sufficient photos taken. And that viewpoint signs of the canopy, a tribe that resides on a lofty cliff tops. Most of its members are passionate about extreme sports and are in their elements standing proudly at the top of mountain peaks and high precipices. By racing along their extreme routes and gazing out at Nautland's dazzling sights from far above, Gain a true appreciation for the new landscapes of the Nation of Pyre. Already have that. The statue of the Seven, located in Quadipec Mountain, the terrain in this area is rugged, with sheer cliffs looming up to form towering walls of rock. You can enjoy not breathtaking views of not one stunning landscapes from the spot. Bluish and juicy berries that grow in large amounts near the sides of the canopy, their shape is somewhat of that of flame granites. The Quinepa berries' unique color can serve as a reference point when mixing paints, facilitating the creation of the kind of bright, contrasting blocks of color that work so well in graffiti art. It's interesting that Kinich uses the Saurian Claw Succulents and Kichini the Queen Epa Berries, given their respective associations, ignite a fruit and how the Gluttonous Yumkus are mounting. So, well, we only, well, did that a bunch of times and I was actually fighting. <laughs> fighting that guy for materials. Reaping momentum and okay, that's got the same description as the other combat events. Okay. It's over there and. Oh, we got a barrel with Flagissin in it. Okay. Huh. I... Hmm. To activate that from range is going to be some trouble, I think. Well, whatever. And I did not mean to do that. And well, that blew up a number of them. Nice. Hmm, well... Uh, it's not a 
perfect science. Well, whatever. Come on. It's over there, more secret source, and oh, okay, interesting. Go right down again, and try that out. Bonus triggering helps, but look at that, and blast. Okay, cool. Bloody. Hit and bite. And another wild manifestation as one does. Big damage. And no trial, no trial. Oh, well, whatever. Come on. There we are. Cool. And that just takes us to the next area. Got a good amount of stuff. Locus of a clear will. Heart of the secret source. Heart of the secret source. It comes from a now defunct Secret Source Hotel in It appears to be an intact door, but the Secret Source Hotel the town is powered. Focused in probably a strange device that seems to produce this universal component. According to a legend, the ingenious thinkers of antiquity drew upon the same wisdom used in creation of golden patterns. It's on the blueprints by which these extraordinary machines function. Perhaps this core is one of them. Snap bola, Kasoka. Push me down, push me down. And that... Well, that hit one of them. Come on. And ranges for whatever. Thank you. And Morani. Butts. And go over there. Collect that. And come on. Thank you. And it's a couple more than it. Oh, another wide manifestation, as one does. Let us burn you. Mm. Close, but no cigar. Okay, oh, alright. Burn, burn, and, well, we. Okay. That's all damage is boosted, which is really, really nice there. Oh. Uh, huh. Well, that has some effects then. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, really? Whatever. I was expecting a bit better, but. Thanks. And that down, and it's Milani. Thank you, and that hit me. To what extent did that hit me? Come on. Mm. Burning again, and well, that kind of worked, I guess. Okay. Two, three, and bite. Uh, well, whatever. One, two, jump and hit, and or not. Ah, I just. This confuses me, honestly. Come on, and by and we now need to make sure we're in the right position. And thank you, that kind of works. Well, the manifestations were actually pretty tough. Okay, sigil of a striding will. Hmm. That's new. An obsidian talisman that houses a wide manifestation. It consists of a jade idol figurine. Encased in obsidian, so presumably there's a stone core and it's not all jade. Said in the past, people often use such figurines to attempt to communicate directly with the wild in the Night Kingdom. Perhaps this also explains why the wild can dwell within it and manifest itself in physical form. Okay. Yes. Going down. Thank you, and putting this down then, and. Come on, crystallize. And there we are, cool. And we got that. Damn, cool eye. Let's actually use that glass as soon as I can. Two, three, bite. And two is two, three, bite. Uh, uh, uh. That seems to work rather imperfectly. Bite, uh, okay, cool. Throw that out. Put Dia down again, and all right, we go back and there and fight. Mm -hmm. What? Mm, we got more opponents incoming, but from where? Oh, we got avatars of lava. Just what I like to see. Come on, and wait. So how's the burning be? Kept constant. Well, whatever. I'll live. Let's see if we get. Oh well. That didn't hit either of them, did it? That was obnoxious. Okay. Seeds of life. Secret source, seeing eye, metal whistle. Corn. 
Okay. Interesting. Okay. But all the story and mats are very, very welcome. That's for sure. It means it's on to Kinichi's set of trials. Yeah. Right uh, here, arc length and angle. Go to challenge, navigate. Mm -mm. Okay. So Kini should show up for one of these. This is more. This is actually Tekemakon Valley. Not Kwadipak Mountain, it seems. Oh, he's here. Okay, cool. Still Tekemakon. Yeah. Far above that dividing line. There he is. Post your form, sentence again of each challenge coins, etc. If we move it in midair and. What do they even say? Imkasaurus, heavy object sigils, imprecisely, Tepetlisaurus, solid phagistin, yeah, purple orbs, there already saw this. Repeat it, Kinich. Right, and it's not used Kinich because it's not available. Mwahaha, at long last, they met Mahdi Dragon Lord. Kuhalaha, his shattered net which bound him, and grace of the world in his desk presence once more. Hope you've learned your lesson. Kinich, we didn't expect to see you here. Oh, it's you two little things. Well, you little, how are you still so arrogant? Oh, a new animation. Hmm, forget it, I'll let that slide for now as I happen to be in a good mood today. I had him locked up before and just released him, so... Oh, so you just let him out, no wonder. Really, Shmelis, I totally was the one who broke free. So that's Kenny to not like even know what's good for yourself anyway. If these two chumps had an unfortunate accident, can you make up a fortune out of saving them? Now if I were blustering, that's fine, just that's so uh, how it is. It's fine, I'm not the type to super squat the little things like him. No little thing. You are the two that you hear because of graffiti. How does he know? What? Can you how do you know that? Members of the graffiti lots have been active around here lately. There was some concern that they might encounter danger while at work, and so it was commissioned to come look. Though with you here, there was never a need to worry in the first place. That's right, this piece of little pixie doesn't even have the right to draw graffiti, much less get herself in danger. Well, you just what are you trying to say? It's all the signs of the canopy. With those who pass the trial, the right to draw graffiti. You gotta be brave enough to leap from the peaks over there, but do you have the guts? Isn't that just bungee jumping? Pops heard of it, just an extreme sport, nothing special. Huh, this is no ordinary extreme sport, it's a trial. You see, a trial. How's it different then? You don't even know that pathetic climb. I'm willing to waste my precious time helping you be a bit less ignorant. Wow, you'd really need just a nice for someone, where's the real how? What do you do with him? First, before you start climbing, you've gotta show your bravery by dumping everything about your clothes at the foot of the mountain. Free climbing, that means no ropes, no knives, no wind gliders, no nothing. If you bring anything, even the teeniest doodad, it tends to disrespect the trail and you instantly fail. So you're just somebody, you've got to run around three times and then, and then what? Then you weep and then you relax your whole body and die. Doesn't that just mean you fall down the mountain? No, you'd be fine. If even I owed it while I said it was false, then that immediately would be in prison. Hey, wait, servant, what are you doing, eh? Huh, Kinichi was just getting the most important part, why do you walk him up? Come on, we generally call jumping off a high cliff without a rope suicide. The reason for his early confinement was because he attempted to trick members of the graffiti onse into jumping off cliffs. Ah, that loathsome little wizard, he was up to no good after all, he deserves to get locked up again. My apologies to both of you, in any case, please do pay attention to your safety around here. I still need to patrol a few other areas, so I'll be taking my leave now. As for the members of the graffiti onse, don't you worry, I'll handle their safety. Let's see then. That's this Peter. So next patch is actually going to have four spiral abysses. I mean two spiral abysses and two theater items because the patch lines up if I want to do stuff like that. Hmm. Not till the 16th that this is available now. As for the members of the graffiti lines, don't you worry. I'll handle their safety. Okay, hopefully it won't be too much trouble. No trouble at all, it's part of the commission after all. As for Ahal, after his timeout is over, I'll let him experience the thrill of a rope was a bun bungee jumping for himself. Which will Ayunka source to carry out the challenge. Because he is not playable yet. Yeah, Tepet we source, Tepet we source, or Kachina. Again, no Kinich. Okay. Well, Gistin over there, challenge commences, collect challenge objects to score more points. 
And we got floors, which is nice. Keeps that nice and easy. And oh, okay. I, all right. Use Kachina to carry out the challenge. Not like that, not like that. Okay, cool. So we put this down and avoid the bad one. So this one is a bit harder. Okay. Cool. Susumis, Susumis, Gambate. Kurukurukomachan. Okay. Which will you source carry out the challenge? I did not mean to do that. Okay. Wrong button. Over there and you gotta wait for that to get out of the way. Nice, easy enough, and will they? No, we're wide enough to just collect them all. Keen H probably wouldn't be, is the thing. Have to take that. Kinda slow. Oh well. I hmm. And now they're in reward mode. And is that everything? That was everything, so it was a little narrow then. Okay. Goodbye. So another. After arc length and angle, now it's sharp focus. Okay, and that's over at Toyok Springs. I... Poor Keenich. There's nothing actually around his area. Huh. It's actually over there. Okay, so that little boost is probably for that then. It's air current. I would presume I... Wait, huh? Or... Wait. There is a Yuka source I can use. We will enjoy you and... Try to climb up there? I think. Come on. Oh, there was already one there, and now we've made it not a source for a drop for no real reason. Oh, well. Grab that, and that over there. Oh, and this was where that one quest was, I think. No, it was over this way, but it's close, I think. I think it was... Up there on that plateau? Yeah, it should be. To carry out the challenge. Okay, cool. Thank you. And, yep. Yungosaurus and Kachina. So maybe the Milani ones will just be Milani and no one else. That's fine. Okay. Let's get to grabbing. Challenge commences. Thanks. I like the graphic they've got for these challenges. Definitely made it fancy because they can reuse it. And, well, that hurt me. Deeply spiritually. Thank you. And where is that going to. Mm. Where are they converging? Just up top over there. Okay, and that allows us to collect them all. We'll enter that. Collect a few more coins, and this is. not really movement. <laughs> okay. And collect the Tepet Lysaurus. So we need to time this pretty specifically. There we go. Wait until they turn into good ones. And there we are. The last one is it's down here. Yeah. And that should be it. Thank you. Cool. So then it's going to be people in the springs, finally. The rewards for all of the inspiration, though. The statue of the seven located in Toyok Springs in this place glowing full guest mingles with steam from the hot springs, creating a dynamic clash of red and blue. If you're looking for a natural source of color inspiration, this would be a great place to start. People of the springs, a trail that leaves a leisurely, lives a leisurely life surrounded by hot springs and waterside vistas. The people of the springs is near to become a byword for tourist holidays. When you're taking a break from all that relaxing, you're not busy befriending cohoasaurs. Capture one's top attention by zipping around the spirit ways. Spray Feather Gill, a special feather shaped species of plant that grows by the seaside. It looks like, kind of like a seagrass, but is in truth a soft bodied aquatic coral with a unique shape. Feather shaped color outlines are frequently employed in graffiti art. Apparently, many beginners own their drawing skills by tracing these when they first start practicing. 
So all of the things are actually like to do something around this side then. Kahola sore well, but sore with thick, strong flippers and a long tail that can swim in water in liquid Fulgiston. In the relaxed, laid-back atmosphere that prevails along the shore, young Kahola sores may seem kind of dumb. But they are actually intelligent, gentle, and full of curiosity for the world around them, and their presence never fails to bring joy and laughter to the people of the springs. The elegant curves of their bodies make them worthy subjects for closer observation. Hmm. So that's over there. Do that real quick, and there will be another animal kind of bird i think oh we don't need to navigate to tyrant anymore that's right didn't even notice that maybe i am stupid after all there we got some kahola source whelps jumping and playing let's get a high angle pick okay swimming playing in the water Okay, and actively resting in the water. Oh, cute. Okay. Swimming, playing in the water, resting in the water, walking around curiously in the water. Very specific. Okay. Fulcrant bird, basically a penguin. A peculiar bird that can walk in two feet, yet cannot spread its wings to fly lively and friendly. They are often found in habitats close to water in groups or floating on their backs in the water. Without a care in the world, there is something very down-to-earth about the dynamics and contours of this flightless creature. By familiarizing yourself with this aspect of its nature, you will surely be able to capture this quality in one graffiti, and thereby meet specific visual requirements. Amayako Waters. And that stays open for whatever reason. Not its kind artistry. That keeps that open. So where does this go? Some guys here a while ago, but... So what am I going to get for coming around here? That over there, but... All these grapples. Come on, that gravel worked. So where to next? Is there any other point that... Weeds me around specifically, or is it just like this? Or maybe, maybe. Oh, was it to get to the top here? That may have been the case. Get to the top of this more easily. That, hmm, hard to say. Because I wonder if there's anything over here then. Jump and down there and grab onto that. I guess maybe it's so you can see that Pyroculus a bit more easily, but still. Huh. Quest down there. And then, of course, the camera. Might be good to try to get some quest done for all that. Alright. I wish you could do an actual dash. Oh well. So the birds are around this area. We will stay away from the warriors right now. Let's see if we can, we can take the pictures. Walking around. And... Swimming. So both those count as swimming. Okay. Fishing photos have been taken. Cool. Put this down here. Thank you, and... That done. Put the burning on. And now we switch to Milani. And thank you. Bye. And. Well, that did it already. Okay. Guess we can just take that. Cool. Mm. Power sigil, yada yada. And that. Right, right, right. Investigate. Some rocks. Mm hmm. Need to throw some stuff together in that. Right, right, we got that ornament. Hmm. I'm trying to think then. I will. I gotta strong box some things eventually, but still. For now, I will take them to four and be content with that just to clear out some space. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So now then, 
got the fights. Show up strength, then it's just a four phase challenge instead. So there's no boss. Okay. Cool. They didn't really have us fighting Saurians in these challenges, which is interesting. Alright. You over here, and it's all warriors. Okay. Goal is we put this down and head on there. Thank you. Crystallize that reliably and cool. Go for the bites and. Well, not interesting. And get that back. He's on the burning aura and. Right. Go for a hit and. Well, I should have popped off first. Well, it's life. Come on. Right. And it was two, three. Right. Oh, well, whatever. Hmm. Come on. I will put this down. And hit and two. Oh, that's not the best then. Okay. Two, three, four. Oh, you are good at resisting this stuff here. And, well, all right. And oh, because you drained my energy. Right, okay, cool. Thanks. And, uh, please don't do too much. Oh, you're gonna shield it. Ah, uh, really? Okay. Two, three. Hmm. I guess I could keep going trying to have Emily balloon it down, but. Uh, that's nowhere near ideal. Come on. And. Virgin there. Come on. Come on. A few more applications start bursting. Okay, well, there we are. Thanks. That going. And another might do it. There we are, finally. Okay. Fine. Alright, the pocket watch. Okay. More of those. More of these. And. Seeing eye. Right, right. Okay. Uh, uh, gotta throw stuff away. Hmm. Well, it. It's okay. It's okay. So that's pocket watch and two of those dudes. Okay. Hmm. So you can put that down there. Put that down. And yes, we can go for a single big hit. And I, not not like that. Not mean to do that. I did the nuts will transmission. I did not mean to. Okay. Two point one two, three. Point one two three. Point. Okay. Cool. So we'll put that down, I guess. And yeah, dear. Ooh, that was real fast, too. Oh, come on. Right. Right. And there we have it. Cool. Got all those again. Lots and lots of sorry mats. What I like to see. Would not surprise me if the drop rates for this event were actually a little higher. Make stuff like this easier, maybe. Okay, cool. Put Kachina down and can I Oh really? Let's just Okay, we got the crystallized we needed. That was painful. Come on, come on. Uh, well, whatever. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Right, and one, two, three, and Oh, it's not the range of deals. Deal that is obnoxious. Yeah. Thank you. And oh, well, that hit rather well. Still, whatever. And plus, I bet we're gonna get another wild at oh, very least. Thank you. Right, and who's mm, left? It's you. Okay. And, well, whatever. Bless, or not. Uh, can I take you down? Damn, damn. One, oh goodness. Two, right, and one, two, 
three. No focus and okay. Hmm. There was no wind current for this one. To pull it all together only to move the other stuff around. Okay. Cool. Gathering is something I gotta do myself then. That Oh, the challenge is just the Y up, huh? Well that's great news for me. Okay. Just go ahead, put your shield down. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks. And cut one, two, three, bite. One, two, bite. Oh, I should use that before, whatever. Uh, two. Well, alright. Yeah, that resistance did not help a single thing for me. I mean, it's not like I could have expected it to, but still. Uh, uh, it's interesting, that's for sure. Come on, I. One, two, three, bite. One, two, three, and bite. One, two. Oh, what? Okay. Huh? And. Two, three, bite, and one, two, three, bite, and one, and, well, never mind. Okay. Uh, thanks. Okay. And so what is the final enemy here? Gonna Another! You've got to be kidding me. Come on. And that's his blast through. Thanks. And one, two, three. Hit and round. Okay. Thanks. Uh, three bite. One, two, three. Bite. One, two, three. And swap. Well, okay. Oh, we managed to jump up. Well, we died. Oh. That time we just died. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's put down Kachina just for fun. This is. Not the way. Uh, I don't know to get this going on demands. Other than that, well, whatever. Mm. Come on. Burn, burn. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. So now we got that going. Cool. And. Is that. End of the challenge, or should be the end of the challenge, right? I think. Yep. Okay. So now it's just her challenge is harmonious whole. That's over there. We need to heal up first. Okay. It's not just drop dead. That'd be a great idea. Okay. Tension and abandon. Eight spiral abyss. Okay. Okay. It's over there. Huh. Okay. Huh. Sorta. So Monty's here this time. Yep, and it's just gonna be Kohola source and nothing else, I presume. Oh well. Looks so like we run to another quince again. Let's say hi. Let's reform. Challenges within people is from territory. You must collect as many challenge coins and destroy as many full light targets as possible. From time up to increase your challenge rating. Obtain battle rewards. Encounter full light targets. Use attacks to destroy them. Scoring points. The whole source excels in moving swiftly. No water. We pilot the service to avoid obstacles while using specific objects. Leap still higher and collect challenge coins in midair. Only Kohola Swords were people this spring to have mastered the relevant techniques and use the spear waste freely. Traveling along these, take notes to avoid full light rips and purple orbs of inspiration. When you encounter full light targets, use attacks to destroy them and obtain points. Additionally, collecting orbs of technique will greatly expand the range of challenge point collections and good use of their special abilities. Okay, and you have the source stuff here too. Okay, hi Milani. Uh -huh, if isn't the Traveler in Babon, not looking for some graffiti inspiration near the people of the Springs by any chance? If so, you sure come to the right place. This area of ours is one of the best scenic spots in the whole of Southern Notlan. Hey, Milani, pump must be more pump now we've run into you. But how can you tell we're searching for inspiration for graffiti? Uh, guys like me tend to keep our ears to the ground. It just so happens some members of the graffiti once dropped by a while back. 
I mentioned that Adobe Dazzler has been teaching you guys some artistic philosophy. Oh, I commend it with you once then. So you know the Adobe Dazzler too. I haven't seen an awful lot of one another, but we're still friends. Everywhere in that one, no matter which tribe you go to. It's a huge demand for graffiti, or aside from the walls of buildings, people also regularly decorate, decorate items that they use. Special and most important things of all, like swim rings, surfboards, beach volleyballs, parasailing gear. Okay, that's probably enough examples. Anyway, when it comes to water sports products, people put a lot of thought into how they look. Swim rings, surfboards. Yeah, because their water balloons are more like paint-filled volleyballs, actually. Back in the day, when craftsmen made water sports equipment, they decorated them with colors and simple patterns based on what they themselves thought looked good. But then people began to realize that expert graffiti artists could design swim rings and surfboards with far more design dynamic designs and striking colors. So you hired a certain someone from the graffiti alliance to come up with a unique design for every single swim ring and surfboard in existence. Uh huh, it's a bit over the top if someone actually tried spray painting every single one by hand. Her hand would probably end up falling off, as certain quirky modern graffiti expert did for a time. Insist on creating a unique design for every individual water sports product, but after a heroic attempt, they realized it was an impossible task. So instead, we suggested that the graffiti alliance come up with some standardized designs and create special stencils for mass production. This so way, all you have to do is put on a pair of gloves, put stencils on top of the items, spread the paint step by step, leave them somewhere to dry, then apply a layer of wax, and ta-da, job done. That's a good point. The people at Springs is such a huge tribe. Who knows how long it would take even just to come up with all the different designs. Your surfboard Milani, which my shirt in the Sharky surfboard. Oh well, my surfboard is one of a kind. After all, it works the way it does because I picked up some graffiti skills and painted it myself. It's both a first rate guide to the people at Springs and the owner of a famous water sports shop. Business depends on my ability to stand it from the ground. People wouldn't be very impressed if my gear just looked the same as everyone else's, would they? Anyway, the main point is this. The only way you line up with the design that you're 100% happy with is if you create it yourself. That way you can even use your lucky color. No wonder Paimon's starting to understand why she felt more motivated since she saw Milani. Just the type of person to figure even the hardest stuff out as long as you like it. Honestly, it isn't difficult at all. Graffiti is like beach volleyball. It's not like traditional painting, all rigid and formal. As long as you can capture roughly what you're aiming for, you'll do just fine. For you, becoming top graffiti master shouldn't take much time at all. It's a pity things have been a bit manic at the shop recently. So I've got a bit too much of my plate right now. Once I've gotten things back under control, I'll make some time to come do some graffiti with you. We must have your vote of confidence, Milani. Let's keep working on it, Traveler. As soon as we can find some good materials and wrap our hands around. Toby Dazzler's Elven Guard philosophy, the batter will trust you on this too, Milani. Priority one graffiti, priority two beach volleyball. Ah, best of luck, Traveler Plama. Perhaps someday I'll need you guys to create designs for the water sorts of products in my shop. Give each other friendly rates when the time comes, all right. Okay, so we'll get this started with Milani. Kaholosaurus, use Milani. Okay. Kaholosaurus, Yunkasaurus. This is Yunkasaurus stuff. Maybe to hype up Kinich? Maybe. Uh. Okay. We'll get going. And avoid these ones. Oh well. And we can bite and bite. Oh, well, we can't. Bite while jumping. I mean, while sprinting, we have to slow down a little. Can't do that jump while doing that either. Okay. Bite and. Oh, well, okay. Come on. And. Jump. Bite. That a bit more. And we got an orb. Now we inch well. Thank you. And. They're not going to turn into nice ones, it seems. So we just need to. Grapple on at the right time, and oh well, I, okay. Come on. There. Perfecto. Now we turn back to Milani. Milani mode. Thank you. Cool. Oh goodness. Camera angle is a little bit tough. Thank you. And bite. Up there we can bite. Send the air a little longer that way too. And, cool. There, this is fun, but not all that complicated. Which is good, because the directions would be a little annoying. Oh, we can actually change camera angle. I did not expect that. If that helps significantly. It's limited what we can change, but still. There we are. Jump. Jump. And, is this... Well, we need it, or... And... Oh, we must have missed some. That... Oh, wait. 
Is that a time problem then, or? Huh. I, is it just not possible we get an SS in this one? Does this one not have an SS rank? Well, if we, if we go faster, it might make a difference. Maybe. There were some embarrassing misses. Just jump through, avoid the bad ones, and bite. Stop doing that and go for another bite. Thanks. Over and jump. Okay. Bite. To avoid taking the full damage. Okay, come on. This does suck me out a little. So if we took... We're willing to take some of those hits. Maybe that might make a difference for us. Okay, we avoided that successfully. Thank you. And nothing over there. That's good. Hmm. Is a bit troublesome. Okay. There we are. Hopefully this will do a trick. I think we've been a little better about this. The big thing is just making sure we collected all the objects. I... This is strange. Maybe it was an issue of targets not counting as objects. Can't imagine that would be the case, though. Okay. Should we see that 40 crop out? Hmm. And... Coins. 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 Okay. And... Cool. I get the impression that... Oh, it's an SS thing. It's about the perfects versus not getting the perfects, maybe. So that was the same amount of time or less, but it's probably an ordering thing. Harmonious whole tension and abandon. P-A-S. This one going to need a Yunkasaur too, or a tip at least. Or... Who knows? Well, whatever. Go up and over this way. And this will require... Just Koholosaurs. So this one is pure. Exciting. Okay. And here we are. We're going with that spirit way. So as straight on it as possible. So we're going to aim ourselves as best as possible. Thank you. Change our direction a little in midair, which is nice. Got that. Got that. Okay. And... Thank you. And do we have to sort of weave? Way. That's fun. I see. Now I see. Right. Grab that and... That was just for fun. To jump over the balloon. Okay. This will help. Decently, I suppose. At least as I said. Set of the way of that one. Okay. Grab and... There we are. Ooh, we can sort of... Juggle there. That's fun. And that... Oh, oh, and now... We're here. Collect the rest and... There we are. We got that... Double S rank in every single item. Which means... Report your recent progress, Adobe Dazzler. Now that we've done... Everything. Maybe it's the main quest line is meeting the not one characters there, but collect. Oh, well, we haven't gotten the colorful contemplations yet. Afterward, for your recent progress, Dopey Dazzler, during this time, you visited many places in not one to gather inspiration. Dopey Dazzler's suggestion. If you've more to what, it's time to report back to her. Dopey Dazzler's notes on graffiti. Notebook written by the Graffiti Once member, Toby Dazzler, discussing what she knows of the art of graffiti. Describes some of the ideas behind creating avant-garde works and seems to be a gift she prepared for a star of the graffiti scene who has yet to arise. Sure. Okay. Let's collect all of our rewards first. Painted presents, we haven't gotten any of those yet. Two bucks, Ashgrin, Grimp, Drinking Corn, two bucks, Grip, Away Damage. It's physical. 
Actual vessel passed out amongst the Metzli people of the springs. I see this was once a treasure, which valued but not yet never used by the hero giant Tupac. Sea salt shade specials for fun material for the Ashgrave and Drinking Horn. The fun and warm colored sand is a texture as gentle as a sea breeze at sunset. According to an ancient Metzli legend, the sea is the star's home. The sinking star will turn eventually to pale ocean, into pale ocean sand. Some quiet we have end to the swaying whispers of the stars and the tides within the bottle. Hmm. Stars and tides in the sand. Let's collect all these then. True echoes. Tyrell should hopefully help me collect. Level Kini's just weapon. There's some ascension mats here. Maybe a couple more levels for Maloney. Talent wise. Maybe. Okay. Hands of the canopy. Funny obsidian mirrors. Alright. One of the challenge. Boss challenge. The funny side scene. And here we are. Triangle, swirl, other triangle. And. One, two, three, non -bus. And all the side scene. Now we can collect our weapon. Okay. Oh, and once you do that, it all lights up. At once, graffiti completed. Click anywhere in the blank area to continue. They start moving. I did not think they would do that. Oh, they show the warriors too. Yeah. That is a fun showcase. Share for the first time. Oh, wow. Now that's cool. It's all centered on the Mavuika statue of the seven. Now that's effort. And drinking horn and the refinement materials. Okay, cool. So that's good. It's a lot of those. Actually, we can like our battle pass stuff. Tap it with sword whelps. Weeping momentum, tension and abandon. Colorful contemplations. Thank you. Claim all those right now, and that's an acquaint. Go ahead, bounce. Play all your own. Ah. It's a, it's a, it's a. Let's let these stack up for a minute. Mm -mm. Come on. Uh. Yeah, leveling Earthshaker would be a nice thing to do with what we've got. We'll chill. Hmm. Okay. Okay. No one's mystic premonition. Hmm. Taking some time. Okay, come on now. But once we start getting our refinement mats, she's dancing. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yep. 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 Got an insight and the battle pass rewards are different. Oh, new ones are those. Well, right now we are at much on standard. Thirty-nine pity on normal, so that'll take us to forty. Do that real quick. Okay. okay. Fourteen. And well, big gun nine. Okay. Cool. Well, I want to see how much I can level this thing. It's got a bonus to enhancement, so. Ooh, we get some of those. 
Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. You know, we could we could get that right now. We could. You know, just why not? Why not then? Well, I could have done one run anyway. Whatever. Make sure watchtower. I feel like checking. But I do want to level up that thing as much as I can while I have the event active. But I don't I don't need to rush that. I didn't need to consume that trans and resin. I may be stupid. Okay. Got a good amount of those. Okay. Well, I could use it for it. Everything is going to Candace right now, so... That's fine. Now it's glowing. I didn't even really pay attention. Okay. Need a little bit more of that. Hmm. Of course that consumes the same materials that Milani herself wants. Hmm. Gotta go back, talk to... Graffiti girl, and then I think we could do some bounties for people of springs. I'd say. Okay. More of those funny arrowheads. Come on. These arrowheads. Yeah, okay. Alright. Alright. Thank you, and we need now. Tension is what Milani uses. Make a few of these. Okay. Also, he's a contention and no doubling. Okay. So let's just check. That we don't have enough to level them all, and I only like leveling them. I can level them all at once, so that's life. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we can get another. Few levels on the earth sacred that'll give to Keenage eventually. So yeah, we're chilling. Hmm. Base attack. Take that up and gonna finish this quest and yeah, get started up not one's bounties. We have e skill damage on pyro reactions, that is that's for Keenage. Okay. She's right there and She's really close to Graffiti Land. Okay. Over, get that movement going. Here we are. Hello. Get that started. Hi! Oh, we have to talk. Okay. Report our progress to her. Quickly Dazzler, hey, you're back. Judging by your looks, I assume you've seen some spots, gathered some materials, and found your inspiration. Well, sort of, we certainly had fun along the way. Having a specific goal in mind helped us notice lots of details we wouldn't have before. This material gathering's project's been a real eye-opener for us, and we've come with lots of samples, too. It's a shame that we might not be able to use them at all in our graffiti. My avant-garde philosophy still needs some refinement. Oh, take your time, no rush. The whole point of the tour around not one was to help you realize what avant-garde is in the first place. Speaking of which, mind telling what you've seen and heard. Show Dopey Daz wrote the graffiti guidebook and the various photos you've taken. Hmm, well, aren't you the conscious photo taker? I didn't expect you to be so experienced with cameras. This is subconsciously select excellent compositions for all these pictures. Anything there's a danger will be stunting your room if I say too much. Just a little guidance is all you need. Please save these notes of mine. Just give them a quick flick through when you encounter scenery on your journey. Perhaps they'll help you take pictures of even greater artistry. No one here at Palman thought we'd be treated with picture on picture analysis and Yale avant garde introductory lectures. Palman's also tempted to try doing some graffiti herself. All well, the more reason to think that you're talented after self driven learning. Anything too much about the books learning might snuff that kind of potential out. Such I think I need to adjust my role from responsible mentor to an assisting senior artist. Just wait for a rush of inspiration at the opportune moment, and then pick your paint jar up and show the world what you've got. Oh, we're that talented, aren't we? Now it looks like all the commissions we took from painters and film directors haven't gone to waste. Thanks for the compliments, then we'll do our best to figure this out. We'll actually get the hang of avant garde aesthetics on your own in no time. Shall we over in the Masters of the Nightwind's lands? Prepping for the construction of the Graffiti Lines' headquarters. If you have any questions, feel free to head over and ask me. I'll be sure to kick you out with a fine set of graffiti-making implements next time you pop by. 
Yeah, so that's where headquarters are going to be. We'll remember that, and best of luck. This was a pretty great time. See you again. Let's not forget to fuck through Dopey Dazzler's notes from every. Can't do our artistic instincts any harm, huh? Who knows? We might make a fortune from showing off our skills to graffiti grandmaster someday. And she's gone. No book written. Right, right, right. Stars date to arise. Finally, this old notebook is coming in handy. My original plan was to personally mentor the newbies and show them how graffiti is done. This notebook is to be left so that some genius can use it to teach themselves no matter when they finally appear. So congratulations to become a graffiti genius recognized by none other than yours truly. Though you as things stand might have never touched a spray can or painted even a single work of graffiti, perhaps one day it'll be a master of the art admired by all. Also, the stuff in this notebook isn't too complex, just for a genius, all you need is a little hint to get the creative juices flowing. So in a print, all the key points in here aren't represented at all, the graffiti artists did not let all I discuss is my own avant-garde artistry. Even within the graffiti arts, we've got masters of all kinds of styles, and each kind of art extremely extensive. Want to study it ourselves too, no problem, take your time, and now back to business. I've heard that nations like Lila and Fontaine have their own mature artistic schools with strict teaching methods, painting for them as a proper discipline. We aren't that serious in outline when it comes to graffiti. Nobody is going to criticize your brush strokes for being substandard or say your shape is off while you're spraying paint. No matter who they are, where they come from, anyone can pick up a spray can, and as long as they don't cause trouble for anybody else, then they can start painting graffiti on any flat surface they can find. Now let's talk about the origin of graffiti, focus on engravings, tokens of power, the symbols of battle protection. Graffiti is a kind of painting that expresses your thoughts, a reflection of the simplest, purest emotions of the heart. So as you may have guessed, the first step is to find the shape and color of emotions. That's why I always ask newbies to use their own eyes to bear witness to the natural conditions of local customs and not one, to understand the shapes and color palettes present. It's the only way to make even deeper creations to turn our innermost thoughts into powerful graffiti. For example, if you want to inspire warriors fighting against the Abyss, just calmly repeating the world's you can do it isn't knowing where you're strong enough. We often serve the warriors a liquor, drink with them, sing with them, dance with them like no one is watching. Curse the living daylights at that Abyss will spawn with them. Letting it all out makes them feel better. They'll be at ease as they battle. When painting graffiti with a theme of warriors resisting the Abyss, to make our home one look incomparably bright and colorful, give the warriors a radiant glow as bright as the sun. Let's say the natural brightness of Notland's color is about a 15 in reality. You've got to do your best to find paints that use ingredients like nobody's business and crank up the brightness of the colors of the homeland, and the war is up to 50. And as for the enemies over on the side of the abyss, they usually get dark blues, dark purples, various greens, lots of different dark colors. Let's say the brightness of their actual colors is about a 10, and your graffiti, the brightness level should only be around 2 to 3, and if you want to bait shadows, you don't need to worry about the shades of grain, just compress it all with nothing but black. That way, the intense juxtaposition of the colors of your graffiti with the basic qualities it needs to catch people's attention and express your inner feelings simply and clearly. You should be aware that most people only spend 30 seconds or less looking at any given painting, much less roadside graffiti on the wall. While a painting that uses traditional techniques and emphasizes authentic colors with complex lighting and realistic shadows, it's certainly quite elegant, it's a completely different thing from graffiti. All right, now that you understand everything, your new top priority is to make graffiti of the Night Warden Wars skill to show hundreds of people for practice. Just kidding. Tense colors aren't enough. You've got to be able to paint extremely exaggerated forms to one's person with tension and ensure everything stays recognizable. Without something you can straighten enough, make it rule your strength. It's got horns, make them sharp as knives. Terrifying. The figure is dynamic like they're leaning back as they brace themselves, preparing to draw their weapon, and draw that person with a flexible curve like a bow pulled fully taut. In the process of fighting all kinds of foes, you should have gotten used to extreme back and forth combat, swinging your arms and brandishing your blade countless times, and you see an enemy make a crazy move. Do you worry about their lumbar or neck? Never thought their movements could be even more exaggerated. Anyway, my style of graffiti, the more extreme the pose, or should I say dynamic, the more it's worth trying out. After, after all, everyone's used to realism and aestheticism in paintings. So styles have been mature for ages and are as common as dirt. One of the elements of avant-garde new wave is finding methods expression that nobody's ever tried before. Never exaggerate the contours to the extreme and put in as much tension as you can. It's pretty much all that needs to be said about the two key points. As for the details, like how aesthetically appealing the ratio of facial features is, or how accurate the shapes of objects are, don't get bogged down in details when you're first starting out. It's plenty of time, just practice as you paint. Start with the avant garde expression, develop your ability to create the overall composition, and find whatever works best for you, one painting at a time. That's enough for now. As for the next key point, I'll save the details for the next phase. If you run into any tough problems in the process of putting into practice, feel free to drop by the Master of the Night ones or video on its headquarters and find me. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. 
So, I suppose I could fight the boss Rakantis a couple more times, and also somebody up there. Hmm. Number of quests. Ones that aren't connected with Wild, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Try that another time. I need to do some condensation. Maybe. Um. Milani's hmm. talent books. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Don't have that yet then. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Run this a couple more times. Yeah. Hope that we get good buffs and manage to crit reliably. But Metal points. That makes Milani's shark work is a bit annoying. Okay. That down. That down. Okay. Cool. And one, two, three. Bye. One, two, three, fight! Oh, one, two, fight, and three. Okay. Alright, alright. Mm -hmm. I could have tried some of this, but we'll, we'll be okay. What? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, okay. That, that's fine. Please, please, please. That was so close to. Come on, Milani. Well, Koei Gia does have her healing, but still. Come on. Oh. Stance break for that? Really? Okay. One, two, three, and. Okay. One, two, three, and. One, two. Okay, finally. Mm -hmm. Cannot use the burst here. That would be idiocy. Okay, come on. Three, put this down. Sucrose it up. And, oh, come on. Fence. And Milani moment. Two, three, and jump. One, two, three. Jump at what? Huh? Really? That was some nonsense. Oh, and of course they're gonna blow me up. Okay. Okay. Well, that kind of works. Okay, this. This is silly. This hurts. Okay. And. No space left. So. It's trash. Yeah. Always with the trash. Spiration. I've gotten tetrahedron and we need 14 more. Okay. It's not very good. Question is what I would try to strongbox. Right. We will get a few stuff ready for fabrication. Oh, I. Well, it. It's gonna be more. That was. Guess we'll accept that luck. I suppose. Akira, Akira, da. Probably not tomorrow, but definitely Friday. I'll be. Rid of her for good. Okay. That boosted the attack, which does nothing for me. It's the hydro damage bonus and the EM boost that actually do something for me. Shapats. Okay. Cool. That was nice. Thank you. Here I go. Thanks. Burn, burn, and. Did we get a buff or. No, we were too fast. 
Okay. Right. One, two, three. Right and huh? Oh, whatever. Oh, uh, whatever. Come on. I really, really. I guess that was just bad luck. Oh well. Well, nothing to do but try this a few more miserable times. Oh, come on. Please. Uh, two, three, four. One. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, really? Okay. But. Okay. They had to burn him. And. Well. Let Milani do this. And attack again? Gotta be kidding. Uh, and fight! Finally. Okay. That is just silly. Okay. Okay. That's 11 more, which. Four more ones would do that for sure. But I would need some luck to get it down to three. Okay. That sucks too. Okay. I just want to see what can be fabricated. that one quest in Mondstadt with a guy from Relay for some reason. I'm gonna do that one now actually before I forget it exists. Okay. So right over here let's check what can be fabricated and what can be strong boxed. There's even obsidian codex can be fabricated which is interesting. And can make Marsha say, but that said, it's... I need to check whether good golden true pieces from those reliquaries, and the only character who needs them right now is Yai anyway. Hmm. Before that, we got a guy over in Monset called Mystical Martial Arts. The Woodwell Hound, an adventure would seek out the legendary martial arts of Relay. No sooner they set foot on the road than they ran to mortal danger. Who is that then? I bet it's Jack. So didn't say a name or guessing. Help, help. Is there anyone out there who can save me? Seems like she's not going to last much longer. Let's go help her out. Okay. Thanks. And. Okay, cool. Thanks. And. That kind of works. And. Plus, and is this it? Oh, no enemy reinforcements incoming. I should have waited. Well, that did it. Thank you. Blast him. Hi. Lantern's there. If you save it last, thank you so much. I'm called Gassin. As you can see, I'm an adventurer. Someone as skilled as you is surely no ordinary person. Are you a well-meaning knight, or perhaps an errant hero wandering the land? I'm about a passing traveler. I prefer not to reveal my identity. His name is Pine, and he's a traveler, helps me a member of the Adventurer's Guild. So you're an adventurer after all, and quite the experience one of that. You were disposed to such a powerful monster so easily, and it really is, always is a bigger fish. As for me, in training, I can easily remember what to do, but the second I have to do it for real, my body just doesn't listen to me. If I really have to train for another three to five years, like my teacher said, it will be totally humiliating if I go back empty-handed like this. That's probably just because we have more experience. We took us a long time to the battles before we got this strong. We just need to be able to stay calm. Also important to judge the situation. Yeah, if you can tell the enemy is way above your pay grade, it's better to get out while you still can. Don't try and be a hero. I see you now that's experience talking. It seems I still need to own my skills as I travel or you're on a journey as well. Yes, I'm planning to ship to Wee Wee. Why is it blue? Have you heard of the martial arts of Wee Wee? I've heard people can fly from rooftop to rooftop and run up walls. Hard your skin so weapons can't pierce them. Even split iron like it was kindling. If I could find a master to teach me a thing or two, I bet this whole adventure you think would be a lot easier for me. But to be perfectly honest, though, I've been a member of the Adventurer's Guild for quite some time now. This is my first time going on a long trip. I am no sooner I left the city than I found out blocked by monsters. Can I really make a leeway in one piece? You've been a leeway, come on, we'll take you. But I have such a legendary calling looking after me, and there's hope for my journey after all. Still, you must be really busy for taking the time to do this for me. Fighting for justice is just part of my daily routine. 
Help me the next generation of heroes support my job too. Case, you want me to thank you in advance for putting up with me for a while at least. Study the map carefully before setting out, so I'll do my best not to slow you down. Continue forward with Gassim. We're there by Stone Game. Still don't have that little skin tag. It's funky. Yeah, whatever. So, why not? Thank you. And I just want to see what Milani can manage here. Oh, good damage. That's very tolerable. Okay. Let's look at the flowers and that hit too. So then, sorry, I can wait here for a moment. What is it? Did he forget something? No, that I didn't. But looking at the map, if we go any further, we'll have left the monster, and there's no way to know when I'll return. My teacher sees my message will flip as a lady met your teacher before seeing an adventurer too. Yes, when he first became an adventurer, he ran some mighty trolls out the wild during the melee, while his guard down and got knocked out by an axe. He was lucky a passing knight saved him and took him back. He was so ashamed he decided to train his combat skills to the absolute max before he went out again. He's now been training for a decade. He always says the basics are the most important, but I just can't stand hacking away at wooden dummies every day. So I went out alone without telling him to go back once you're stronger, do something you'd be proud of. That's exactly what I was thinking. I've got it. Oh? Seen takes out some dandelion seeds from her pack, placing them on her palm. She's itself with them. Message was released on the wind. According to our customs, dandelions can carry wishes. I just wish that everything will go smoothly on my journey, that I'll reach my goals, and that my teacher will understand me. Certainly, the Animal Oricon has heard her wish. Really time to forge ahead. Go to the stone gate. By the teleport, it's convenient that it's all by teleports. I wonder if there's going to be any lore from all this. And you, that's Dihua Marsh up ahead, right? It's so beautiful. I can see anything like this in Mondstadt. I knew that going on the journey was a right decision. I think this doesn't happen every day, so let's take a picture together as a keepsake. Take a commemorative photo nearby. Oh. Camera's already been adjusted to the correct angle. Cute. It's cute. Yeah. I'll treasure this photo of us together. I didn't realize how hungry I was until I relaxed. Now you mentioned it, Pumon's time is starting to rumble too. Let's find a place to rest. Pumon, light a fire and start cooking. You can't just order Pumon around like that. Besides, it's not like you don't know what Pumon's cooking is like. Let's take a look around, find a place we can score some food. There don't seem to be any suitable restaurants nearby. Given how much you help and how much I look up to you, I'd feel bad eating in just any old place. Speaking of food, might that building on top of that giant rock up ahead? I didn't even think about that, but yeah. It, it's the giant rock, but the tree is in the building itself. Be the famous Wong Chu Inn, I heard from a Weiwei merchant in his biz Monsat, the food there was simply superb. Let me treat you to a feast as thanks. Woohoo, let's go get some food. Arrive at Wang Shu Inn. I guess it's just sort of getting you to remember that Wee Wei exists. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Right over there, hello. Skid. Gassine inquires after the menu with the innkeeper and orders several dishes as expensive as they were famous. And this is one from that food event in January. I've heard that Wee Wei cuisine has a holistic focus on appearance, smell, and taste. It really does look so different. Hamon's mouth is watering just looking at it. Yeah, they were savory, the delicacies of Wang Shu Inn. Well, wow, well, this is delicious too, and this and that. I'm too stuffed to eat another bite. Now, that was great. We recovered from traveling. Thank you so much for everything you've done. If it weren't for you, I can't imagine how much more difficult it would have been for me to get here. One of the staff here told me that if I stay on this road, we will harbor we just up ahead. I'm going to rest here for a few days and ask around about where I can find legendary experts and then decide where I should go next. Is that the end, or...? Hmm. No, I really enjoy traveling with you. I can't keep imposing on you like this. Moving forward, it's something to get stronger so that I can become an adventurer just as reliable as you. Yeah, though we didn't spend that much time together, we had a good time too. I hope we'll meet again sometime. May we meet again? I hope you find what you're looking for. You too, I hope your travels go well. Seeing waves, goodbye. Well, since we're here, why don't we take a look around the area and maybe there are more exciting encounters awaiting us. Hmm. I 
That's interesting. There's nothing immediately there. I wonder if... It's one of those quest lines that progresses through daily resets. It's possible. Mm -mm. <clears throat> In that case... Go over and get started with Toyok Springs' reputation, then. Supply notice and bounties. Big old city and pillar. Hello. Supply notice, grain fruits. Simple 80 and oh, nice. Flying unction, pineapple berry. Got a good number. Spray feather gill. Yep, okay. It's time for bounties. Invulnerability to hydro damage? You're kidding. Tents that will defend them. You know, those wars who left with shrubs and rumor and that such. Are they that short on supplies? Last week, my caravan passed through eastern, the eastern river bank of the Amayalka waters. Got robbed by a Kahosaurus warrior leading the charge. We took quite a hit. I don't expect to recover that money, but we can't let other merchants continue to suffer. Someone capable needs to go and drive her away. Hmm. I'm going to need a start. So it maxes out at... Four? Maxes out at... Yeah, maxes out at four, which means... Unless level four takes a lot. I'm going to need to switch gears to... Another tribe soon. Otherwise, that's gonna start going to waste. Hmm. I need to do one week next week before I can get sort of kinishes, maybe. Hmm. What should you think about? They're over there, and it's marked that way. Interesting. Cry resistance decreased. What I even try there? What team has that I could use with... I guess I could use Kachina to try to buff some Growl character, sure. Yeah. I'll try Thessaly with Kachina. Rev Melt. You are right here. Kachina. Okay. Oh, much a kid I. John has got You should take Favelance right now. It's over down this way. Gliding over to that pond. <laughs> okay, come on. Oh you... right, talk to the sign to start it and oh Depending on the difficulty selected. Oh, you can select any given one and wait until they appear. That's fun. Oh, well, I uh, very plainly. That's what I do. This is to just break their stuff and we can tunnel over that way, which is amusing. Okay, and thank you. Uh, thanks. Uh -huh, but you're water and I don't want like that. Okay, whatever. Oh, well. Oh, you are strong. What I should do, actually, is just knock you in. That's right. But well, the damage I'm dealing is actually rather favorable. Even just punching like this. This is fine. Cool. If it works, it works. 120. That's sanctifying unction. Three sanctifying unction. So, next one, take me to 580 and then I'll have 100 over, whatever that is. I, yep, okay. So all of them work, but you can select which one. Electra res decreased. Recently some tribe wars have been on edge just the other day while I was strolling near the southern river valley, the sulfurous veins. I ran into a Yunkasaurus warrior. I waved from a distance, asked if she wants some blazed meats too, but she blasted with her huge heavy weapon. Jewel zone, interesting. 
Boys meets you can't be that offensive, right? She, she must just be itching for a fight. Okay. Which our res decrease? We could try. Oh, and right, we just take this. Man, let me tell you, it was terrifying. Yesterday as I passed by in the eastern side of the Ancestral Temple, my story and buddies, we spotted this enormous hill warrior from afar. Muscles were ridiculously massive. Like its arms were as thick as a tepid with sources waist and was cracking with lightning all over. I mean, I know. Focus on the collective plenty, electro pot one test your metal against something like that, but for the sake of everyone's safety, probably us to treat it as dangerous and decent, take it down. And Tatanka Sores, which basically named after Buffalo, Pyra's decrease. Hmm. Vulnerability to geo damage. Highest current HP one for all. That's a fun bounty. And fun effect. Alright. Don't have to go back to immediately collect, so we'll immediately get rewards then. So the bounties and the supply requests are actually kind of opposite in that interesting sense. This one's Electro, so we can try Sethos on this actually. I need to. Okay. Sure, Kirara and Sethos. Wakata, wakata. Wakata, wakata. Mm, well, first I suppose we could go for a couple hits here, and, well, alright. Mm. Well, this, not bad, not bad. Come on, come on, up. oh, please. I, there we go, and, oh, come on. Get that on there. Tyrant spent is good. Bunch of that. Come on. That ends. Now damn it, and just come on shooting. Oh, to be fair, I bet. Yep, since that skill damage, we'll get a little more from that then. Somebody still see me? I oh, there was one more. Now I feel bad. Just a little. Okay. Come on. And please. I think I'll actually use. Stuff as burst on the team is bothersome. Okay. Just up there. 120 for a bounty. 80 for each supplier quest. So 600 in total if you do your math right. Perilous? Always. Okay. So. Shoot you and. Dual zone right here. Thank you and. Oh, right. We put that down and. Can we, Okay, no, one, two, one, two, and wait, what? One, two, and oh, come on up. Alright, thank you. I, oh my goodness, this is actually rather scary. Okay, come on up. Oh, please. Dodge it. One, two, one, two, and one, two, one, two, and one. Yep, we didn't kill every single one, but we will. We went for the king. Final one is. Over there, so I could use that as an opportunity to find that teleport waypoint, I suppose, but... That was interesting, especially since Seth House is... Seth House being kind of underwhelming, actually, made that more interesting. Okay. Well, alright. Let's get some bursts back. Very burst reliant this guy is. And there we are. Cool. Come on. Thank you. And just like that. So that back. Okay, that's good. We're good there. So now, climb up. Okay, this is on top. That's good. Down to that temple. After taking those guys out first. Week two. This was. Pyro Res, so that's. Chevy team. Okay, which used to be this slot. Our, uh, yeah, official. Shavros. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Start and didn't see how many more we need for following weeks, because that's 600 in total per week, basically. 
Uh, not run. I mean, simmer water over there. Okay, is that gonna get... That gotta go away? That is perilous. Okay. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, and... Official. Okay, come on. Plus, and... Can I... Oh, goodness. One, two, three. One. Oh, hey. Please. One, two. One, two. Is this just eliminate those of the most annoying ones? Okay, I, okay, how to I think I manage some of that, which is nice. Thank you, and mm, thanks. Oh, I did not really do it like that. Thanks, and one, two, and they're all gone, which is good for me. I mean, it was nice and clear. Oh, hello there. Nice to see you. And we got a reputation all the boost from that, too. Give me. Some of that. Yeah, we can collect, activate that waypoint now. Mm -hmm. Teleport waypoint. And over there. I guess I could activate that just for the sake of it. There are. So that one over there. I may as well activate all the ones that I currently have override access to, just for the sake of doing it. It'll make getting around significantly easier. It said, check the pillar first. I mean, the totem pole first. Yeah. Hello, Karamuro. And... I bowl three and that needs. Hmm. I could get two hundred more or four hundred more from just exploring, which means I'd only want to do two bounties and two requests here next week, which means I should get started on some stuff with Children of Echoes then. So I can actually do some other bounties. It's level one. The Crystal Rock and Peace of the Slumbering. I need to get a little more exploration in Tekamakan for that then. Hmm. I guess I could do a couple of wolf quests then. I suppose. Right, we got their house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next, then. Mm. Yeah, just finding a couple more teleport waypoints that are around here. Should probably switch back to a party with. Decently rapid exploration abilities. Cool. And then and then. Yeah, Emily. Emily's there. Kirana. Doing fine here. I think a little bit more friendship needed. So we'll just go down in this general direction. Okay. Guess we could grab this. Maybe we could do Kawata Pack? Maybe? Yep. Maybe. Hmm. Miraculous. A little bit of that, but of course. The. Hyroculi are a rather outsized. It's like the teleport waypoint's outsized portion of exploration progress. So. That's good. Oh, hello there. Hi. Thank you. You gonna get a chest from here or something? Or maybe. Oh. Hi. 
Maybe if I broke one of these. That's hardly tough. And it. Oh! That opens that up. You break it and it sends a gust up in the air. And how high is this going to send me? Any. Or it just goes up here. Doesn't send you into a. Pyroculus or anything. That is okay. That's okay then. Oh well. Oh well. Silver so waypoint and that's 19. Pick up a, an Oculus or something and get a little bit more than I think. So I get started on bounties next week if I feel like it. This. Come on. Is this the right spot for those commissions? I think. Just check. This is just a very convenient teleport location for the place itself, and. There's gotta be an Oculus somewhere around here, wouldn't there be? It's down here. Let me just check. Oh, well, alright. Yeah, we need to dispose of trash. Okay. Ooh. May have sort of run up against our hard limit. Kinda. Okay. If that's all I can even fit in. So that means I need to go and check other stuff. And oh, well, there is a chest there. But we need to actually strong box some stuff. Question is, of course, just what am I going to strong box? No boss. No boss never fails. Look at these guys who don't have artifacts yet. Tori actually... I want to run her as a silly Quick Bloom DPS eventually, which means... I have her bloom. Let's see what we got in terms of... I mean, Thundering Fury. Thundering Fury. In terms of Thundering. She is C6. That... That might be good, actually. Maybe. I... Because it would help her actually do healing. Yeah, that's actually kind of crap. Anyway. Okay, so we can just get an Electro piece from anywhere, I feel. That's fine. So I guess it's just getting tossed into Noblesse. That's... Good. Maybe Tenacity for Kokomi whenever I end up getting her. Eh, whatever. Okay. Decent amount of stuff I can toss. There's no way that's all that good. What? Mmm. I don't know though. Yeah, it's new. I am not in a position to be throwing away anything new yet. Next week I need to get together and level a set for Keen H. I have his mats more or less, but besides that, hmm. I'm not leveling Kachina right now. It's not right now. Especially when Shionen is going to end up just being better Kachina. In every way that really matters. It is what it is. Okay. Alright. Silent work of unlocking. They do need to add a... A trash marker. Okay. 
Some hurt. Mm, not good. It's got ER, no ER. Oh, wait, it's need to filter for ER. Okay. Hmm. Eh. That's. Eh, but nobody uses no bust when needs defense. That's the thing. Okay. But of course, being able to use. Their bounties would be convenient, so we'll do that. Pocket watch. Said if there's a power rocket at the top, it'd probably be easier to get her from above. Thank you, thank you. Cool. And step right over here, and Yohapa the guard. Oh. Well. That. There we are, we can get our tribe reputation rewards from the sounds of the canopy. So we can avoid missing bounty opportunities. Right up over here, I went down for no reason. Classic Aqua. There we are. And then, Kimish's deal. The night, what is the night's, and ripe for trouble. But there are also a couple of quests just around here in Amayalko for some reason. I wonder if they're connected to other areas or just ones that are not part of travel reputation. But that's a world quest that I'll have to do without access to Kimich, which sad. Next up, I do want to do some exploring around Toyark, but it'd be more convenient to do that if I'd already made sure I'd done all the quests first, so I think that's what I'll do. Check around the area, wait until prompts pop up. That'll be nice and good. Hello there, what is up with you? You are Rongo! Isn't that one of the Beatles? Hey there, Kane. Oh! Very Hawaiian. That just means man, basically. Impeccable timing. Like he's saying, dude. Hey, you talking to us? That's right. Your outliners from far abroad. Yes, I've got something I'd like your opinion on. The perspective of a guest, have you ever thought that the life the people the springs lead is too laid back? Well, what do you mean by that? Well, something you should know is that our ancestors were warriors famed throughout the lands. Wainuku, the treader of the rainbow, Tupac the giant, renowned heroes all. Nowadays, mention the people of the springs, and people assume you're talking about hot springs. Is that such a bad thing? What people also think about music. That delicious fruit juice. It's all the same to me. It's easy loving. We'll see our fighting spirit vanish in time. Mark my words. This can't go on. That's why I told little Amina that we've got to build a training ground to stoke that spirit once more. So what did she say? Welcome back. I don't get what you're saying at all, but if it's interesting, we'll go along with it. Is it important? So this is it, the great training arena, the people of the springs. Great, you say it's a bunch of wooden racks. Okay. Well, there you go. Aha, uh -huh, that's where you're underestimating the genius behind this design, Kani. Do you think these were just simple wooden racks to jump over? What are they if not that? Obstacle course, so you mean? W what do you mean by that? Wait, so if you adjust those racks to the correct... Elaborate on that. Correct positions, the water will part. Mule the real training grounds beneath it. Grand Hall several hundred meters deep or something like that. No, it's just Dragon Steeple Chase. Uh huh, what sort of imagination have you got? Do you all look like that attempt? Dig so deep a hole and block it up with some simplistic mechanisms, does anyone? Anyway, these racks are using surfing training. Like Milani, that's what makes them extraordinary. They were racks after all. And speaking of which, doesn't that make your training surfing practice? Has that got anything to do with fighting spirit? That's where your rating surfing too low. Winning hearts is as hard as concrete in the tides. But you're remembering that famous quote from the great hero Uenuku right about now. Hold your horses right there, man. Never mind if you made that quote up or not. Forget fighting spirit. Is that even this even all that related to surfing? Oh, well, do the details matter? We own our surfing skills to sharpen our wills. That's a long-standing travel tradition, not to be abandoned. Now that we're here, my good outlander guests want to try out some surfing training sometime soon. Why not now? Since this training ground isn't ready for use yet, and if you must know why, Kane, since this flow current birds, yes, they got thick skin and sturdy flesh. 
You can get hurt even if you boop them in the air. On the flip side, if new hands get booped into the water by them too often, they might always interest in surfing altogether. Well, sure, could consider this a special feature of this training ground. Aha, uh -huh, that's a great idea, really. Let me think. For example, if you're going to wear one of those big, fierce, full corn birds which are faced with penguins, so the first rack can knock a newbie back to the starting point in one hit. Well, veterans who have mastered surfing, we know how to get around it or use their strength and not set birds into the air. But yes, the cruelty of surfing made manifest. So, Will Amina would like the site to be open to a larger audience, so I'll save your suggestion for when we design a second one. That sounds kind of dangerous. You sure this is a good idea? Anyway, we just need to chase these full current birds away, right? This way, this training ground can operate normally. Hi, that'd be great, Connie. Let's see what should we do for someone who's helping set up a great training arena in the springs. I got it. You can have this. Oh, it's so pretty. Already then, travel. Let's help get these birds out of the way. Help Rongo chase the flow current birds away. Oh, that's why they have those marks. Okay. So then, go up here. Shiny shell. Oh, the shiny shells. I oh, I just knock into them. That's. Do you have to hit them? Oh, maybe knock them off. Or, oh, okay, cool. Oh, but we need our focus in here so that Moni can keep her surfing up. Okay, so it's a matter of knocking them off the training equipment. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on. Push, push. Okay, there we are. I'm gonna go on and push you because when you balloon up, you can. Oh, a little harder to push. Oh, please. Hit. And well, uh, uh, now this is annoying. Maybe I need to get up on it and then push them off. Oh, please. That is worrying. Don't have Night's Soul Transmission here. Not by yourself. Oh, okay. Please, please. If I knock you off, maybe? But it's weirdly complicated. There we go. Okay. I, oh, goodness. That didn't work either. But that said, if I. There we go. We can. Can we knock you away here? It's procking, but. Okay, this is goofy. Real goofy. Okay, so just jumping and hitting them will work. So it's one more bird somewhere. Oh, okay, just had to check for that one. Oh, there, he'd be turning all those full curtain birds off. Awesome, good job, Connie. That scores our basic prep away. Now we can start testing our great training arena while we're ready. Right, let's begin. Mighty straightforward again. Now let's spirit our people whack right now, you know? Righty then, we'll make the preparations now. Let's run rainbows, split the waves, talk to Rongo. Near the people of the springs, you meet Rongo to test the training grounds. All the particles! Okay. Got this. Luckily, do this count for Phlogiston? It might. Not quite sure. And. Those do not count for Phlogiston. Okay, and now we just have to jump up, and there we go, cool. That's such skill. If all our kids were half as nimble as Yukane, they wouldn't need training. Here's the shell you were promised. Take it. Just glad we could help. As soon as they finished testing, I realized that there's a serious problem. Well, what would that problem be? You think this is just a real regular surfing spot? What did you think it would be otherwise? Illumination at last. Well, oh, you see the spirit doors over there, Kane? Well, I mean, we're discussing this whole affair. This old Fulgiston device is still operated normally. If they could still be used to activate those spirit ways, we could have ridden them straight for the rainbow, just like Uenuku just did. See if Hamlet can just fly straight up their spirit way or no. Rainbow? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Actually, what are you getting competitive for? It's just a shame that these devices don't work right anymore. Normally, there should be inscriptions regarding the repair of these ancient Fulgiston devices near that maybe these are exceptions. I'm a whole bunch of things, but Fulgiston Scholar isn't one of them. So I've got to call someone else to fix this later. Speaking of that, Chica probably knows how to fix these, right? But we don't know where she is right now. Anyway, you have my thanks, Kane. And that's kind of a shame, why don't we snoop around the area? Maybe we can find somewhere to fix some spirit doors. Hmm. Huh. Shiny shell. So I think that's actually all the shells here. 
to test the training grounds. The spirit doors. I'm a jazz. Okay. Oh, you're back. What's good? Been full of fighting spirit. Wait, wait, I hope not. It's a shame, but I haven't yet found a skull. We can repair these spirit doors, but it's all right. So wait and see for now. What I want to see is... Can I go up there and... Is she still there? Or has she left? That's my question. Oh! And... Transmission to Kachina. And presumably gonna ride a spear way over to last spot there. Thank you. Let's see. Over here ends. Like that. Jump up. Right over there, and that's just where she is. Hello. You know they said. We don't know where she is. We very much do. Oh well, can we get a special dialogue? It's you, I'm glad with a bright future ahead of us. What's up? Sure, got you have enough for a soak in the hot spring. In order to use it, sign us already. Still way, way ahead. Okay, so we can't even ask her for help. <laughs> we have to just do it ourselves. But if we place on those shiny shells. Actually, got all the shells now. Description, yeah, Tina you know, the mess leaves is the description. The spirit waves may not become blocked. Separate the place and graves into different colored shells and detach the shells up to board of reeds. Fix the spirit strips and shells to it or something. The patient bleeding out right now. Three shiny shells, shiny to shape shell that you chance one into X springs. Whether or not it can be put to any uses in group, but nonetheless Pompon still likes it and talk to Rongo. Pretty low, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What is that rainbow then? But they keep shining even though we can't pick them up anymore. Okay. And we can talk to him and hopefully get a bit more info on what's going on. Maybe it just makes a more complicated obstacle course with spirit ways. It would not surprise me. Oh well. Hi. Oh, oh, I didn't expect to actually fix those doors. You, you've got spirit alright. Lots of it. Hmm, how should Palmon put this though? We've reactivated the devices, but Palmon thinks they need partial readjusting any ideas. And Palmon for not flying me across. Oh, no worries. They'll give those details to me. You just come back around tomorrow, all right? Wait until the following day. Leave the track just as you You just come back around tomorrow, all right? Okay. Do that then. Tomorrow. <sighs> nice and diurnal here. Fun little quest, but... Hmm. Let's check on the great training area of the springs. Hello. Uh huh, you're back, but we'll be ultimate enhanced great training arena of the springs. What do you think, Kane? Ready to hop aboard a spirit way? Yeah. Right, let's begin. Right, let's not wait longer than we need to. Uh, complete the spirit way test. Full light orbs and reach the destination. So. Particles collected. Six out of 120? At least that didn't damage me. Okay. And now it's Spirit Way. Nice. Okay. Simple enough. Basically, to activate the thing. Seems we need every single particle. But I. Huh. I. Interesting, but we got a long amount of time here. That's fun. We had to activate that. Hi hi. So I bet if I glided, I could have that final one, maybe, or or not. Yeah, oh, I, maybe not. Okay. I, I did not mean that either. I. Hmm. Rather strange. Shabbats. No, not might not actually be able to get this one done, done then. Pending. Okay. Have this gone. Get up high and then glide back down. But the Kahola sword being kind of silly with it is cutting into my fun. I. Oh, okay. Well. I guess we're here at least. This is interesting. 
I'd rather be doing it with Milani anyway. The suboptimism might be. You got the character, you gotta use him. We're finally getting full guess that we can hop back on this spirit wing. We jump. Gonna have to take that jump, presumably. That up there is actually rather strange. Come on, jump it. That. We just had to go over that. Get that and commit. Go up. Thank you. And down there. Cool. And another spirit way. This is exceptionally dynamic. Okay, but it does seem like we need everything. Okay, so can I. I don't want to get that. That was easy enough, but still. So right at the start, then. That's the question. Thank you. Jump up and collect that. Getting close, but for every single particle, well, that's tall order, I'd say. If we actually need every particle. Oh, yep, yeah, that's the issue. We're not big enough, so we miss a number of them on the way up there. That... Mm, 113. It's over there, but... Hey, hi. At least get our focus in back. Except it deactivates because we're too far away. Okay. Let's... Get that... Okay. So there are more than enough. That seems like the spearway shut again. Uh -huh, no worries, no worries. It was fixed once. Well, can be fixed again. You just enjoy yourself, Kane. Current training arena is meant to own young people. They're fighting spirit in any case, so this is more than enough. You got the time and the mind to own your spirit. Feel free to come back. Nice. The light on the lake. Witness the completion of the people's springs. Great training arena. Will it actually be of any use? I wonder if we'll get something for doing it again. And... Okay. Didn't get a ring from that one. But I've heard it's actually randomized. Yeah, if isn't you, what do you say? Under fighting spirit and great training. Haven't been fixed. More enough to serve as a... As a training ground. Okay, so that does not come back. That just finishes that for good. Okay. But I know there are at least a couple more things around here, but I also would like to mark all of these challenge locations in case they occupy something else. Usually they don't, but I checked when we were over in. They did it for Inazuma. I've never been able to forget that. So it's six in total. Yeah. Okay. Over here. Over there. Get another quest done. Yeah. Maybe a couple. Uh, Kini tribe ones too. Maybe. That's decently close enough. So we can get moving, but this is. Observe. Ah, so now the creation left behind by the ancient dragon is not one. Can change the direction of focus and flow, creating spirit way. This might be the prototype on which spirit doors are based. And that does not activate that one. Okay. All right. All right then. Well, we can surf around at least and try to find the remaining couple of quests. Yeah. That's more than fine. Cool. Collect a bit of Phlogiston. Out of the way of that automaton. Consumption is real, real low. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Nice thing is we can see proper spots from pretty far away. 
But of course, they're only going to be on land. That at least is a limiting factor we can make use of. Morning! Thank you. Just do some fun little surfing at least. Apparently, most of the night went that volcano, which is interesting. Activate that to focus in mechanism. Thank you. Yeah, but that did not give me any tribal reputation experience, which was interesting. And all those quests. Ah, it's an emblem, but that's it. Okay. You over where we saw a tear before, or? Cool. Ah. Presumably a tear is dead at this point. Presumably. Hmm. So around here, I think, that we had another quest to do. Yeah. Okay. Use this for overland movement too, honestly. Yeah. Water is better, but all of it is good. And that. Can't quite tell, actually. Oh, and this? Another trainer. Uh huh. Joseph. This is the spirit way one. Well, they're all spirit way ones. How many master trainers are there? That's my question. Well, it looks like I need to take these guys down first. Oh well. Come on. Oh please. So we can put that down. And... I did not mean to do that. I meant Milani. One, two, three. Right. One, two, three. Right. Good. By Even without resistance. You know what? Let's do this. I love the feeling of sliding only in the spirit ways. There's nothing more soothing than hearing the wind whistling in your ears. If you master trainer, and help a tribe school understand the joys of walking the spirit ways, even as I train them to become warriors. What about you? Want to try joining in? Let's begin. Saurus or a character from People of the Springs, yada yada. Okay. Yeah, the start of winds boil backwards. Got a lot of these then. And of course, those dragons I killed. Okay. And. Ah, this is one with switching. That's cool. There's a jumping one, a very vanilla one, and one with switching. I... Okay, Buck, we managed to get that. I was worried. I... Okay. Did that a little wrong. And. Right. Move, move, move. Jump over. And switch, bite. I get a feeling that the Kahul Swords might be able to switch slightly faster, honestly. Maybe. Would provide balance, because it is. In a number of ways, I would say they're slightly worse for the sake of balance. The characters, that is. Okay, and now we can actually move back and forth. How long is this challenge? This one is going for some time. And immediately there, and. Jump back, keep on going so I don't fall off. And switch, bite, and switch, and bite. And is that all? Gecko state. All the coins and all the targets. So for that one, you did need every single item to get it. Oh, okay. Gecko State. Complete all the Warriors Challenges of the people. This seems to the highest possible grade. Nice. Okay. That's what I like to see. Put all these. This one gonna give me that ring piece. No. Nope. Okay. But I could get that ring doing a bit more exploration. That's fine. That was nice. It's your trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all of them have three, it seems. That is quite cool. 
Dangerous objects, display as many as you can, something good might happen, flight and weep, yeah, 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 whatever. I got what I wanted. Okay. Something over here, oh, that was the Shrine of Depths, right. Let's find that quest. Okay. Not over there. Somewhere around here, I think. I think. Oh, come on. Thank you. Of course, water is preferable. Okay. Can we jump through this? No, we can't jump through it. That... Such betrayal. This... Oh, this has got to be their tribal space with some artifact juices, among other things. Hmm. Let's mark this for later. Okay. Up and around here, then, I presume, where that quest is going to be. Hmm. It's actually still Kawadapak. Tuyak is rather small, actually. Well, I should probably do this quest for... Dendro. For signs of the canopy, maybe tonight, honestly. I bet I could fit it in. Let's see what happens. So, thank you, and oh my goodness. Oh, that was heavy damage. Get that back. Somewhere around here, I think, is that quest. Should have been marking it, but whatever. Okay. Someone nearby is going to try to tell me something to do. Somewhere here. Come on, and is this... Where will this one take me, and... Oh, well, it gives me a Hieroculus? Okay. I think I jumped over that. To avoid getting it one time. Maybe. Alright. It was around here, then, maybe? I know there was one more quest. It might be a daytime nighttime issue. It's very possible. Okay. Hmm. That's some monitor graffiti and that if I broke every single one of these boxes. Oh, is that a paroculus? I mean paroculus was inside it. That's fun. Yeah, let's just see. I broke every box here. Nothing of particular note happened. Okay. Well, that monitor's in there, you know. We'll let it happen. Come on, then. Oh, oh. Have some problems with my like, really. Whatever. Well, you know, if it works, it works. Hi. Get inside here. And that chest is all the way over there, then. Oh, wait, it... Did the graffiti disappear entirely or move, or...? Okay, the graffiti's just gone. It's actually sad. Mm. Well, it... Can't be many more places... That quest could be... Whatever. Whatever. Mm. Let's sell that chest. Didn't want to get it at the moment. I... Over there? Maybe. I know there was one more quest from People of the Springs. I just didn't find. I... 
river here. At least we'll have something to say. Anela. Hi. Sour sauce kipper again. Wrong with sour sauce kipper. Nothing really. No matter how good it is. You can't just keep eating the same thing day after day, can you? Don't want the other hand. Ripples can then get pudgy yet. Well, he has any? Odd not that it was training or his caloric intake have changed. Shan't disturb you any longer. Oh, it's fine. Well, it's interesting. Gaholosaurus. I indwelt it. I would get the ability to talk to it, I think. Now let's get started here. Let's see what happens on break these. 20 power core holds within 60 seconds. Okay. Let's see what this challenge is. And, mm, speed's actually a bit hard to handle. And keep on moving. And we're over here. Alright. And I not right now. I'm greedy when new patches come out and I haven't explored yet. I gotta be mean. Oh well. That was it then. Okay. Huh. So I wanna see that doll look for that Gaholosaurus then. Okay, come on. This is down here. Get that elemental damage bonus. Thank you. For Jim and John. Three. Five. And. Did that even hit? That did not even hit. Whatever. One, two, five. One, two, three. Five. And. Okay. Three. And. Well, alright. Whatever works. Let's intro real quick and see what that Kaholosaur has to say. Hi there. You. Ripple not here, me here. Oh, so the other one is Ripple. So human NPCs just say nothing, but you can communicate with... Saurian's pretty... We're a little primitive, but it's very fun. I like that. There's one more quest, I think. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Someone's standing on top of something. Given some kind of order. Top of some kind of ledge. That's what I remember. Okay. And... Cool. Okay, over here, I think, or... No, this was that one... Trainer, but... I've already done stuff with, but... I thought there was one more... Quest icon that I saw. Almost dead certain of it. Almost. Okay. Fuck. Well, Alright. Mm -hmm. Jumps are interesting and that... Is that it or...? That can't be another challenge, right? Or... Is that a hostile NPC? That might be. That... Uh, yep, he is hostile. So hard being me. Okay. Refuel? Well, we don't need a refuel. This knocks you around. I don't think we can actually kill those things at all. There's Cosijo. At this point, I think I'll just look it up. I've given up all hope. Okay. Well, that... I could try finding Cassisio one more time. I honestly might. <laughs> yeah. I want that achievement. That means giving Dia back her stuff, maybe? Uh, probably not. But it's Fiona for healing. 
Healing mode, Jean Glade, yeah. This is the team that I would need to use if I want to actually beat this thing. That's fine. That's the slow app. Okay. Switch. Down Zhongli and this down. Thanks. I one, two, three. Bite. One, two, three. Bite. One, two, three. Bite and this is doubtlessly the way I need to make this work. There's no doubt about that. Okay. Not again. But Dia Dad. Push on with Milani. Two, three. Bite. One, two, three. You can actually jump those, which is nice. Three. Bite. And this one, two, three. Bite. Sure. I actually did not need to do that. I. We're close, but no cigar. Honestly, I could make this work if I was really silly about it in the sense that I made sure I always had Witsith buffs up and only good Witsith buffs up. That's the thing with Witsith. That you need good buffs. It's not all of them actually do anything for you. And then, of course, get lucky with crits. It, that's life. Hmm. Okay. Whew. Especially since this is on Rob level 9. Hmm. I have those talent books. Huh. That can wait for some time. It's gonna have to. Not a lot of world quests. That. Mm hmm. Where are the ones in Toyok Springs? Toyok Springs. And we're gonna talk about World Quest, World Quest, yeah. So it's only okay. Tales of Dreams plucked from fire and the Shroud of Rainbow split the waves. Okay, I was confusing a trainer then with that. Okay. Yoko Waters. Floating full current birds back to shore. Huh. Some hidden exploration objectives there. But I... There was a quest down here. That I need to do. Some dangerous people stuff. I guess I'll do dangerous people stuff. Okay. And then maybe try Cosijo. Sure. With those Widsith buffs up. And just pray for crits. That said, I... Yep. There is crit boost food. But I... Oh, they have an icon for this now. Special icon. Crit food is tough, though. Pure crit food. We got one of those. Hmm. Uh, I might need that. We got so many of these. Items to destroy. It cannot be destroyed. Can't destroy anything other than raw ingredients. Okay, that's stupid. But here we are, ripe for trouble, which I accidentally found while I was looking for quite a bit of berries. So you know what? Screw it. We'll go down through the hole. The funny thing is that I randomly picked up this. We need a name tag that lets you do Children of Echo stuff. Well, I did not need to kill the hurt the capybara. And okay, Poke is here, right? Why that tea suck working like this? I think about quite curious as to what he's been hiding lately. She's the one who guards that area. This is for a little encampment. You know what? Why not? We'll take this. Cool. Here we got the Pyroculus. 
Tecumacon is close. Yeah. This is basically nothing. Okay. To the cabin with Kratisok, who has gone missing. Yep, so we're just... This is what happens. You fall down. Okay. And, for whatever reason they have... Oh, for Yumka's sort of stuff, you're supposed to... You can mine quicker by just grabbing and shooting the flame granites. Okay. What if I... Hear them like this. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Or like this. Nothing. Okay. Fair enough. So, yeah. Put a big old tree in here. Oh, well. Hmm. Yep, flame granite tree roots, cool, damp cave, geothermal surge. Well then. We'll be back here eventually, but our goal right now is just to find- Oh, and there he is, passed out. So kind of draining what's immediately above is... Nothing of particular note. Flame granite tree. Huh. Oh, something's passed out over there. That's tea silk, isn't it? Something over there, too. So what if I went down there now? To a spot I'm theoretically not supposed to be going to. And this is... Pretty big cave. Yeah. Is that geothermal surge? It would not... Surprise me. Transport. Okay. Thanks. I we could find another teleport waypoint at least. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll just surf along and. Okay, that. Gonna have to hit that, presumably, with. G Game Boy Tutorial. Cracked rods and unstable rock with cracks in it. Looks like even a light explosion would be enough to destroy it, and that means. Yumkasaur. Okay. Well, it. I'm gonna have to get one over here because they can't swim. You know what would make that real easy? Keenich. And. Just, you have to swim that. No, you can use that here. You know what? We'll take it. Guess I forget later. Okay. Handle cap mushroom. Go over and inch well that Yunkasaur. Thank you. Hi. You know what would work well here? I'm blasting you. That very good. This is some way to do combat. And ooh, nice! Immediate vaporize, but <laughs> it's one way to do it. That and a melt. Yeah, exactly. Let's just open that thing up. And never mind. Explosions are going to be over that way. So what is going to happen? We just go through here on our own for any of that garbage. Okay. Like that. And blast him. Oh? Oh, pres No, they mean that. Okay. That's it. Okay, so presumably, maybe we're too far away, but I think we just can't actually do that until we find T-Soak, which makes sense. You know. Part of me is actually happy that they gate it this much. I only get full distance from that, too. So, okay. Cool. Let's get this going. Huh, and this bonus. Is that, that's not flank granite pectin, because the grapple whips were gold and red. Or oh, orange, then. Can't believe I forgot about orange. Okay. Hey, hey, T-Soak, wake up. Are you all right? Uh, I, have I been called to the Night Kingdom already? I believe I see a floating person. 
Oh, wait, no, these are the roots of the flame granite tree. Well, and here I thought I'd gone to the Night Kingdom already. Well, you might certainly have ended up in a faraway place if we not come down to have a look. Tribal reputation. Tribe reputation. Let's see. Tribe reputation for tribal chronicles and old quests. Total experience and it's 26,000 per. So actually. Hmm. Let's think so next week. That would get me Toyak. Wait. Two of each, and then Reputation. Thousand from each world quest, and then sixteen thousand more from. Hmm. World Exploration, 600 from World Exploration, 600 from the Travel Chronicles, 2 for each World Quest, that's 1600 at base. Okay. And for that it's... 200 for every combination because it's 80 and 120 if you max out for supply and bounty hmm. 1600 600 per week I've got 30,000 can't go all the way but I actually do need to do the geo stuff I need to unlock the geo stuff too otherwise I'm going to end up Wasting some of that bounty experience. Okay. That can come in its own time. Okay. Is that blazing foot or? Well, you might certainly have ended up in a four way place if we not come down to have a look. But thank you so much. I want to come down and check things out, but temperature changed drastically for some reason and I collapsed. Now, wait, hang on. First off, how did you get in here without a pass? Oh, we've got one. Come on, try to show him. That'll teach him to let pass, passes pass from other people. This is what you're looking for, I believe. Display the green piece of paper. Mm, yes, this is one of our passes. Sorry, could I get your names? Introduce yourself to Tisok. Travel in Pomon. Oh, I see. Didn't expect to see it in the hands of an outlander. That's quite novel, but rather strange all the same. Is this the wrong pass? Right pass, wrong people. In truth, the green patterns on the side of the pass have names hidden in them. This should be the one that was lost a few days ago. I'm the guess you found the pass and came here, in which case, the most sensible thing to have done in my absence would have been to send this back to our tribe. But you chose to come down here instead, and you know my name. Did someone instruct you to, then? Someone who knew about the passes, but not all the details. Hmm, a career, then. Well, that you do know your stuff, after all. When Poker told us, you were some overly serious stuff and thick-headed groups. Oh, her was it good, then I know who to settle the score with once I get back up. Well, slip of the tongue, but still she only asked to come down here because she was concerned about you. Oh, really? I'd say she did it on purpose. I didn't think she'd figure me out just about my efforts to hide it. Still, she did send me an outlander unrelated to tribal affairs, like delivering a pill to someone about to doze off. Well then, brave warriors, could you hear me out? I have a request I can't tell the rest of the tribe about. I prefer to absolve this myself, but as you can see, I ended up lying on the ground here. Yeah, you're just a guard. Well, I'd have to investigate this cave, too. Actually, sir, it's the Mountain King flame grant. That's right. Going to Zyumkasor Mountain King. Here's one of them right here. Best of the best, both in terms of size and phlogiston content. It's just that they were supposed to ripen over the last few days, and yet, as you can see, they're still all green and blue, no signs of maturing at all. So their name suggests they are to be offered to the Mountain King. Kongamado, right, and their importance needs their words to explain. Also, this isn't just about the Mountain King flame grant. It's most of the fruit grown on the mother tree, and its the cliffs are also as green as can be. Taking care of them for so many years, how could I not tell that something had gone wrong with the roots? You could have just told the others in your tribe. Pa, no one knows flame granite trees better than I do. That much I can guarantee. 
In other words, if I can't solve the issue, forget it, if I really can't solve it, I'll simply emit defeat and appeal from either Master of the Nightwind, Fortune Tellers, Collective of Plenty. Sounds like agriculture, their electro, which is also plant growth. Take a look, but before that, I'm the only people who, person who can handle this. It's that side is going to be difficult to pull off on my own, so my brave Outlander warriors. Well, we could help you, it's just that... Oh, but Poka sent you down here with promises of payment or something, yes? Well, if we solve our flame granite problem, the tree problem, I'll have her contribute a greater share. Why, why her shouldn't be you instead? You know, she's a courier, more capable by far. If paying not than someone on a fixed salary like me in any way, she's the one who persuaded two outlanders to enter her taboo grounds. Taboo. This is originally a Hawaiian idea and term. Just so she could find out what's going on, there's got to be a cost to that, right? Explore the roots of the flame granite tree. What can we do? Have a hunch, go over there and have a look first. Okay, I guess we could take this. Sure. Another Pyroculus. Roots of the Flame Granite Tree. Suppose we can... That's all transmission, Kachina. And... Keep moving. We have to... Use the Saurians to... Send them through Yukasaurus. Roots of the Flame Granite Tree. We can... Blast this guy, we're gonna need to explode that then. Okay, cool. And we can just keep on blasting with flame granites like this. Simple enough. Three hits kills, cool. I really do like that. Jump. Take that in. Oh, I did not mean to do that. And well, you know, whatever happens, happens. What should have done is stayed in one spot and. Yep, he just wants us to blow this up with a Yumkasaur. Uh, as expected, this spot is completely blocked off. Instead, I found what's causing the temper change a moment ago, and as I thought, it's because there's this solidified lava blocking the airflow. So what do you do then? If you negotiate it with it, we can just blow it up. Both of you to think it's capable of bargaining at all, why don't we find some other way to get it to clear out? We made tutorial already because we came here, but it doesn't let us blow it up until... Cure already. Okay. And grab again. Thank you, we can take that and just shoot out over there. Oh, as long as we're holding on to it, it consumes the kiss and... There we go, who would have thought there would be such a huge space behind this rock? Continue forward. Indeed, our journey to solve the problem has only just begun. Alright. So that looks like a Fulgiston engraving. Maybe a totem? Oh, we can pull these. That's fun. And it's just a pull switch. And once you pulled it, nothing more happens. But do they eventually go back down? Doesn't really seem like it. Thank you. This would be fun, but... It would be nice to do this with Teenage, but it would... Oh, cause some wasted reputation things, so... You know, if these things could dash, that would be even better. Okay. So I wonder if they want me to fight this with the Yunkasaur. Oh, that's... There's a time limit and they sink back down. Oh, and we can... Grab and spit barrels. Nice thing is that we're going to get all this back. Okay. And... Yeah. Back some of that then ends. Those do not respawn on... Oh, goodness. Okay. All right, we can at least proc burning, I guess. Cool. And it seems to be immune to burning damage? Maybe. I... No ability to dodge, really. You know, if this works, it works. Dodge. Oh, well, that did not quite work. I... Oh, please. Come on. Just... Get out of the way. Okay, no, there were more. I just didn't see them. Okay, cool. And there we have it. Is look like that and Does that open that up or? Well, do they heal out of combat? That's the real question. Oh, goodness. I got some free space, so I don't need to worry about leveling artifacts to juice. And Candace will need this eventually. Even if she doesn't right now. 
Even if I'm just gonna give her someone else's crap for theater, yeah, it's garbage. <laughs> it. Are there any more sands right now? You know, in theory, I could just. Well, Beto, Sara, and Beto are also gonna want energy recharge, and they need to be good. Nothing is going to make Candace's damage good. Nothing. But wait, actually. Okay. We don't have that there. My question is. I bet. I oh, need to swim back. If I pulled all these back again. And was fast enough about it, I bet I could actually keep. That that opens the door. I bet. Okay. Thanks. Of course, it can't be too strenuous a speed requirement because Keen H. You need to be able to do this without Keen H. Okay. Is that that there or? Well, we can just fly over, can't we? Well, never mind. So that that was not it. Rest in peace, story. Well, we'll miss you. Oh, so this, or... Start. Oh, so that breaks that, too. So it's Geo, but I guess... Story and stuff counts as blunt? Makes sense, but... Start that, and swallow this open. That opens that. Okay. And, oh, well, okay. Suit yourself. And we can't activate it again no matter what we do. So we just hop out. Okay. Click that chest. See what's in it. Mm -hmm. It's just chests. And infuse with Fulgestin. Oh, and we got one of the rings. Okay. And that just made sigils appear. And oh, that's where I get that power It's green obsidian fragment. Obsidian fragment with engraved patterns. Just not like those are the signs of the canopy, which you obtain by chance while exploring. Usually you could form a full ring using three of them, but what that two cannot tell, enter the space and get artifact juices. Yeah. Can't go in there at the moment then. Hi! All oh, these are platforms under them, which is nice. They can tell by walking. I don't care that much right now. Oh well. Oh more lava blocking our way, so obviously blow it up. But if I magma and we can come back here later and do actual exploration later. For now, it's flame granite stuff. Thanks. I, oh, that missed entirely. That was dumb. Okay, come on. Oh, and, oh well. That is a dead Yunkasaur. Bad news. Well then. Uh, maybe another sigil around here? What? This is one of those rocks. Cool. Warding my investigation. Oh, come on. Really? It's all the way back there. Okay. Good thing we got Milani to get across the water more quickly. Okay. Thanks. Cool. Okay. I do feel like blowing up those slimes. They deserve it for everything they did to me. Just kill my dinosaur. Thank you. I oh, well. Alright. Mess that up. And boom. A lot. Huh? Really? Really? Whatever. Come on. So we can jump and make that work. It's an idea. And. Okay, that's one down. Hit and can I blast? Oh, and it doesn't damage me at all. I like that. Okay. Do that a couple of times. Thank you. Another flame granite. Blow that one up. Okay. Thank you. Huh? Oh, there were multiple sort of seals there. Okay, now I see. 
And that did it. And then lots of explosions. That clears up. Oh, huh. Oh, okay. Chain reaction. Okay. Talk about chain... Exactly. Slumps have congealed while I've been blown away, and the path to the bottom of the roots open as well. Lady Glock is with us, it seems. It's right, breaking through the rock here up here is a band-aid solution. If there's no air situation, flame where it's work. Gone to the root, go down to the bottom of the roots to take a look. That was too fast to really see. Does not change the map. There are lower levels of the flame granite trees roots. Yeah, all those particles stay because it did actually blow up. It's all kind of going now. Lower levels of the flame granite's roots. Go to the lower levels of the flame granite's roots. Imagine some of those geese for food. That. Oh. That goes a little farther. Okay. Huh. I'm on new at no one wonder not when so hot. They even have underground lava. If I'm palm on, where else will the Fulgistin from Brad's come from? Environment, such Fulgistin back fruit and grow in the first place. Huh. Any inscriptions or what? I want to be this one. Oh, this is amazing. Such thick roots and they're not burning despite being so close to the rock. Clearly, if I break those down, uh, go across. Of course, the roots of the flame granite tree not only under a proximity liquid fugistin. Fibers can even absorb it and grow as a result. Mm -hmm. Such being close to lava isn't the normal state. The roots should really be immersed in lava. It seems like the issues with the lava surface. Entire root system's temperature has gone down. It's a lava that never should have cooled or piled up. Now blocks our way. So we just need to get the lava level to rise, right? If you go to purchase size and sit in the lava palm on quick palm on um, the food you ate in the pool of no way, that sounds super hot. Talking nonsense again, aren't you, Traveler? So if you must make the lava rise. For there, the issue is just that the lava outlet's been blocked. That's it, blast that lava rock away. Lava behind what won't we saw it? Let's surging tide once that happens. And that's a good point, Palmon. See if we can find another way. Another way to increase the liquid phlogiston levels. I... Hmm. Some chests in there, and that makes me wonder. You are rapidly taking damage. I imagine that there's going to be able to get back here, but... Still. Oh, and just being above it also hurts things. Very plainly, we definitely need to blast this down. Or not, huh. Never mind, maybe I'm stupid. Not clear it would be knocking that down out. But I... Chest over there, not even sure I can open it right now. Can I? Oh, so it goes up and it goes down. Uh -huh. Okay. What's over there then? Okay, I have geothermal surge. Sokasuriya. And we'll smell lava coming out from here. How are we going to smash this big thing? From here, we'd all be swallowed up by the lava. I. Fluid avatar of lava with constant pyro on it. Nice. Okay. Right. And well, okay. Thanks. Oh, uh, Right. Okay. Mm hmm. Try that again real quick. Please. One, two, three. Jump. Sure, why not? Two, three. Jump. And there we have it. Cool. Now it's Seed of Life. So what is my way out going to be? This lava tunnel. That leads up. Does that lead up to the surface? It might. I... They don't make things missable. But just in case. No reason not just pick up everything. Oh, well, I... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Hot, hot. Well, got an achievement for that. Huh. Oh, and everyone died because of that. Not fun. Not a good place for a swim. Yeah, you think. Okay. Then let's... Feed her. Hosan seafood soup. Okay. 
Yeah, that's all gone too. Awesome. Okay. If we were swimming, that would have worked too. And up that away. What's in here? Just a pool. Okay. But I really just want to make sure. Hi. Thanks. Thanks. One, zero, three. I did not mean to do it like that. Okay, bright ends. Well, that did it. Okay. Make sure we got a way back. Spinel fruit. Oh, various Fulgiston flame granites. Hmm. Will the lava level neutralize itself and settle down eventually? Go to the other side of it and break the large solidified magma. Back of the big rock, let's smash it from this side. Oh, so if I did it from the other way, would it... Would it stop me because it's a bad idea, or would it just let me be stupid? I hope it would let me be stupid. Whatever. Alright, cool, we can use that to get some foot kissed back. Thank you. Cool. Hi. Well, I'm here. It's Kachina. Sake of efficiency. I want to take out those Yunkasaurs real quick then. Hello then. Thanks. Cool. And Milani. One, two, three. Right, I. Or not. Okay. Come on. Doing this side. Oh, well, that works too, I suppose. Get inside it. Barrier drops. Okay. Okay. Put this down there. Cool. And. What do you know? Actually, that didn't quite work as intended. That's fine. So, what if I try to bring this side? Would it just kill me? Or what? You have to see. I'm, well, that was unpleasant. So. Let's try that. If I did it like this. Oh, it just doesn't work. It just said, don't be an idiot. Okay. If we need to just keep moving and break it from that side. Okay, so the question is what state of this place afterwards is going to be. It's all burned out. That. Oh, we did not mining it. Cool. That means... Go back into Spirit's Gone State. Keep moving around. Back through this way. And we'll see what happens. God knows. There was actually one right there, okay. Forgot. Break this, Let's see if it will get some getting consumed, and... Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-oh, the lava's rising. The roots of the flame granite tree are glowing where they meet the lava. Meet with the lava. Well, that's fun. Oh, now this should be the normal look of things. Flame granite trees truly are mysterious. When I followed my father around as a little lad, it was witnessing this scene that convinced me that I must take care of the trees as he did. So all the flame granites mature. That's right, not only that, but with your help, these ones have been stocked full of absorbed focusin. Thank for the best flame granites ever, huh? Is that an earthquake? No, wait, lava's rising. Come on, run to the high ground. Save the area where the liquid Fulgisson level is rising. Ah. Huh. Okay. And very plainly, it's like this. Okay. This direction. As it absorbs everything. What if I went the other way? Well, that would just trap me and presumably it'll be accessible again. Can't imagine they would ever make it inaccessible. You're safe from the surgeon. You forget with great difficulty and haste. Difficulty? Wow. Now that was way too scary. What in the world happened back there? That lava just came bubbling up from underground like sludge. 
Let's let me catch my breath for a bit. I think blowing with the rocks, that might have been a bit too much agitation for the lava. I'm sure, you still your shirt wouldn't be a problem that switch up so high. You know, when a weathered farm sucks in too much water. Well, that's a good point, but at the same time, it looks like some levels drop slow until it becomes stable, just as before. That said, thanks to that. Look, you too, look at the Mountain King flowing brand its color. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Oh, such perfect coloration. Oh, no longer is this green, but a ripe orange. Not just the side of it's enough to make you feel warm. Perhaps we'll be able to pick them after a few more days of observation. The Mountain King has not been in the best shape in recent years. If it eats this fruit, things might take a turn for the better. Either way, I can't thank you enough. This isn't much, but take it as a token of my gratitude. Hey, I'll take it gladly then. Wait, didn't you see to poke and fork out the lion's share? Ah, I was kidding. What's hers is hers, and what's mine is mine. We're not so close that I could bill her for helping me out. Well, what did I say? I'm the flame brand expert, aren't I? Hey, I guess you're an excellent expert on top of being a great guard. All right, then, let's head back up and try not to faint this time. It won't happen so easily now since things stabilize here, but anyway, the past, please. It's an important item as far as our tribe's concerned, after all. All right, but before, what if we want to swing by again? Just swing by to have another look around. I'm just going to have to keep on eye close just as Yunkasaurus mine. Okay, for the fairest. Well, let's settle once more. Let's get a roll from Poka. Then cross under the Mother Flame Granite Tree. Right, just around here. Let's mark that. Trouble reputation rewards, but that's not a huge concern right now. Oh, and now it's actually full of Fulgiston. So this is how this area is supposed to be. Okay. Interesting. Surging up like that. Cool, that refueled me, but... Can't hope for too much. Oh, well. Okay. Come on, come on. And over there. Try that one more time. Bonnie. Thanks. And over there. So all that water in there was kind of a red herring and ooh, that was nearly death. That now is so where would that chest have gone? That's my real question. How is this area meant to be traversed? Because I can't imagine for the life of me that they would ever make it impossible. But those chests are all just gone now. I Oh, well, alright. That was stupid. I mean, Seirai Island had something like that, where chests that became inaccessible later became accessible. Okay. Let's go over there. Yeah, so what is all this going to be now? Hmm. One, two, three, four. That lava pipe up there. I actually never saw that one. Hmm. Is this... is this anything? Oh well. Okay. So... Was this ever anything? I can't tell. Whatever. What? Okay? I'm not expecting that. I... what in the... What? Never mind. Okay. Let's go on. But, got a decent amount done, I suppose. And this? Can't imagine that was anything of particular note. Whatever. Not over there. And what if I just surfed it? Oh. Thank you. This is just all down here now. Nothing to really grab, and if I... Where would that chest be? It's down there. I... Oh. Okay. Huh. 
really didn't expect that. But interesting. Huh. Geothermal surge and warm cave. So now that all of that is liquid for Giston. Huh. I was not expecting that. I wonder if there are any things in that portion then. I feel like checking. One quick time. Just to, just to make sure. Hmm. Yeah, that was all water before. It's a chest there, but the rest is interesting. It's over down in there. It really just goes to show how rapidly things can change here. I. This does not look like much of anything, but still. Warning would be nice, but surprise is also cool. Main thing is, I need to just constantly look around the entirety of an area as soon as I get there and collect everything there is to find. So the stuff over it, this portion should still be intact. Can't imagine it wouldn't be. Yeah. Well, it was certainly interesting. I think that should be. Much as I really want to get done today. Nice. Blazing ruins. Yeah, because next patch will be able to get. By the end of next patch, we'll easily be able to get all reputation done. It's weird to think. We'll go back to the stadium. Okay. Whew. And, of course, everyone lost all their energy because fell in lava and died. Okay. So, there we are. All that really comes to mind, so I'll just be... Oh, well, should get those plants. Over here, so there, well, it, we missed one bell, okay. We are a-okay, just like that, just like this, okay. Got these sword and cross succulents. Yeah. Oh, we put in some grain fruit too. That's good. I'll make it easier when I have to go for Kinich. Trust rank. Create those furnishings. And now I'm really done. Okay. Oh, no, 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 Oh, did we? Right, that's realm currency, and we are progressing through the passive, passive very quickly. But I will be hopping off here. Okay. Back to the stadium. Yep, cool. Good stuff. Yeah, there was that one chest in the lava area, and I wonder how they'd handle it. Whatever. See you, good night, goodbye, and oh, right, achievement, and that's for the fair, salt the roots of the flame grant tree, absorb enough liquid for gizzards such that the mountain king flame grants ripen. Next is. Ah, oh, sprint, sprint, sprinting stratagems. That's actually really soon. Okay, cool. 
Center, I can goodbye.